I'm kind of surprised the room, that so I'm kind of surprised that Advent isn't in this bracket, given the fact that uh, his uh, his combo breaker trip starts tomorrow. And he was talking with me yesterday about how he wanted to uh, kind of okay loust. Yeah, like I, part, he was all like, "Oh, I want to get practice for combo breaker." And I'm like, "All right, bet." And now he's not here. <laughs> Yeah, I DM'd him twice, because I figured maybe he wanted offline practice on the PlayStation. That kind of makes sense to me. Mm. But uh, he he just ignored me. Or he didn't get the message. I don't know. Whatever the whatever the cause is, uh, my main suspicion is that he's actually been killed in the street. No, not in the street. That's the worst place. Yeah, what? Uh, but no, that definitely didn't happen. Right. Yeah, right. wait, that actually, no. Happened. Probably not the street. That's the wrong fighting game. Um, it's it's he got ground up in some gears. There we go. He, he oh, got you know what? He he to uh, jail for being guilty. He got he got caught by the by the the uh, the uh, propeller of the little prop plane from Indiana Jones. Hmm. Oh, I I wouldn't call that plane a little prop plane. Uh, a little prop I know plane. the one you're talking about. I know the one you're talking about. The dude where like the meat head. Uh, Indy like jumps out of the way and then he gets absolutely misted. Okay, uh, <laughs> the uh, room is the devils. The room is the devils. Yeah, that's pretty. What does that number. mean? The funny number. Uh oh, so it's just a bunch of sixes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And now the secret's out. Hey. Okay. There's bizarre circumstances happening here well so how about that oscar trailer how about so I, how about i love that that i love morphogenic uh, man-shaped modok i oh, won't man. touch his, that his I won't cloak touch that if i could wear a cloak like hole. that in real life i would never wear anything else yeah this is an obscure reference at this point but he looks like magni desmond on crack Wow, yep, that is so obscure. obscure, I have no idea what you're referencing. Yep. <laughs> uh, Come on, Taki. Alrighty. Come on, Taki, yeah. you can do it. Get in the room, Taki. Yeah, I, I won't touch Wait, that character Taki? with a 10 foot. I won't even touch that character with a pole. Doesn't matter how long it is. Yo, your room looks sick, Phage. Thank you, I, I'm autistic. Oh, no, that's Muffler Man, okay. <laughs> uh, reason enough, it seems. Trust me, it makes sense. All right, good luck, have fun. I haven't played yet today, so we'll see if I'm bad or good. So be good for goodness sake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm well known for being Santa Claus. Although my name actually is Nick, so maybe that's not that crazy. Oh, we got a saint brew in here. <laughs> what song is this? Uh, Burly Heart. Ah, Burly Heart. hey, that's what it says on his arm. Oh, it's is happening. Is this an Exerd? What? Is this his Exerd theme? No, this is XX. Okay. All right, might need you guys to or take it to a different channel when we're going into the fight. Right. Fair enough. I will mute. All right, guys. Welcome to Matchstick Melee. It's Wednesday night. It's time for a little bit of Guilty Gear Strive. We got Muffler Man here. He's a new face around the channel. Going to be rocking Potemkin up against Taki's uh, Lost My Head Gem, uh, so Gem Lethal Ramblethal. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we don't see this uh, this environs too often. Hopefully, this is an okay stage to play online. Taki trying to keep some good distance. Oh, coming up a little short on that. Muffler man can reach though. All right. 
right, Muffler Man turtling like a boss. Oh, fine. The Taki found an opening, but it gets bursted. Now no one has any burst. There's the flop. No damage. Oh, backdash is the Garuda. Very nice. No damage. Gets caught on the way out. Taki, of course, one of the few characters that can... Oh, nice grab. It can uh, match Potemkin on range. All right, so there's the back throw. Wake up Garuda. Oh, nice neutral jump there by Taki. Gets to put a little extra damage on that. Ooh, I get the feeling Taki just dodged a metaphorical bullet because obviously Muffler Man has no projectiles on him. Wow, okay. So yeah, Taki going to take a narrow lead here. It was a hard-fought round, but uh, Taki takes it going on to round two. Muffler Man pressing the attack. Has Taki in the corner now, but Taki's determined to fight back. Oh, fakes a dash in. Gets a back throw there. Now we're going to play Mix. Nice purple RC right into the Potemkin Buster. Now Taki really has to be careful and might not get the chance to. Kaboom! <laughs> Much quicker round there. The audio is coming in crunchy. Interesting. I'm hearing it perfectly fine on my end. Little momento. Well, I don't know what to tell you there, Forty, because um, giving it a listen through my phone, the audio seems to be, at the very least, like not overtly damaged in any way, shape, or form. I don't know what to tell you. Hopefully I don't have um, two audio channels on the same thing going on here. That's so weird. Huh. Well, sadly, I don't really know what to do about it. Especially if the lobby music is fine. By the way, I believe I saw Taki winning that first game. Okay, good punish. That's usually like the big setup is, uh, you know, the, um, the ram will whiff the sweep and then hit with a, a standing when somebody tries to go in and punish. the wall. Ooh, all right. No, good idea for Taki to back off. We got the moving wall, though. Jumping Gigi. in. Very little damage taken from that. Oh, well, I'm probably have a few guys to watch the, the fight when we're back in the chat. All right. We got Muffler here, sitting on Wake Up. Ooh. 
Kaki's trying to move in, put the hurt on, actually manages to get a move through. And that is going to be game two for Taki. So, Faze, you're back. Uh, I don't think he realizes he won the set. Oh, is he fighting you again? No, he's just standing there. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> um, when you get a chance, can you pop over to the to the live uh, Twitch channel and see if the game audio sounds weird? Mankind knew that they um, sure. Thanks. So instead of reflecting on themselves. I can't I can't find a trace of it myself, but forty percent says the the game music is sounding weird. Oh, hold on, let me deafen real quick. Thanks. Oh, letting the intros rock. Very nice. I appreciate it. <laughs> I like Potemkin. Gentle giant, in, at least in spirit, if not in action. Okay. Defense. Lock, lock, lock. So yeah, Muffler Man out. Got the first blood. Oh. Wake up Garuda. Ooh, staggered himself a little bit to try to punish Taki's response, but I think Taki might have just been a little bit slow themselves. We got the knockdown. Slight All advantage righty. on the Temkin side. Huh? I'm back, so I can help you out here now. Uh, sorry, I was in a phone call. No, you're good. Uh, phone call? <laughs> a phone call? So, yeah, Nobody we got Taki anymore. on the ramble fall. Yeah. Uh, always a reliable secondary for him. And, uh, I mean, based on the numbers I'm seeing at the top of the screen, looks like it should have been working out. Wow, dropped the Faultless right before that Garuda. That could yeah. have been disastrous. So he's sitting at a pixel here. Yeah, uh, one hammer, oh, no, one fine. Mega Fist. I'm sorry, say That's not going to kill. Sounds fine to me. Okay. Ooh. Oh, no. Taki outs facing the heavenly pot buster. Wow, that was yeah. a... I personally would have had a heart attack in that situation. Like, yeah, at least we know where the iframes aren't. Dang, that spacing there was so none. good. That's the problem. <laughs> he knew exactly where pot would be after that second hit of mm. Rekka and was ready to go for that far like, slash. Like, what would I do if I were fighting? <laughs> if if I were forced to ask myself that question, <laughs> I don't think I could answer it. Okay, so getting the heart knocked down on the other side of the wall. Oh, this no, is a that rough situation. That oh, man. Not that it matters. No. Who's the better crap? Wow. Yeah. What, a, what a PRC. He basically Honest. taking advantage of the hit stop from the, uh, from the heavy armor. Using That's a like PRC it. to get the throw. In, oh, in truth. Tactic. Characters like Ramblefar, why I secondary soul. I respect that. Ramblefar is the kind of character that when you're fighting her, you want to make sure that if you get in, you never let her breathe again because she will kill you. <laughs> yeah, no, so soul Potemkin is great just, for that. Potemkin's buttons are slow. They may cover a lot of space, but so do Ramblefar's. Yeah, and when Potemkin gets put in a bad situation, his primary option is wait to get wall broken and hope you win neutral on the other side. So it's kind of rough hope for him. mess up, really. Unless your name is Snake Eyes and you pull some crazy PRC shenanigans with Pop Buzz here, at too. which point you always seem to be an advantage. Or uh, Yellow RC. I don't see nearly enough you develop Yellow RC. The issue with YRC is that if you block it, you are dead. It, it's basically like whipping, uh, whipping a DP, except it has a 50 meter entry cost, so it's <laughs> even worse. True, but I never seem to get mine blocked. But, uh, yeah, yeah no, just Potemkin you, cannot you must do really it more win. intelligently than most people do, then. But, um, really, though, unless the only way you're winning that matchup as Potemkin is if you're the better player, that's just it. Oh, yeah. Prod is on their way, needs one sec. Cool. Part of the issue is that Ott has the range. 
but what he doesn't have is the combination of range and frame data that Ramlethal does. And I hit caps lock again. Why not? You're just yelling at people today, huh? I also have to point out that they took away Pot's only reversal. He used he had to a have reversal. Yeah, uh, freaking Gigantor Kai used to be invincible. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, it used to have an invincible startup. It used to be oh. an invincible reversal. I guess if they thought if, Mega Fist was good enough. If we're talking about uh, anger at, at uh, invincible reversals taken away, uh, I'd like to put in uh, a, a note about Chun Li's EX uh, SBK in Street Fighter VI not being an invincible uh, <laughs> reversal. To be honest, losing a reversal in Street Fighter is a lot less impactful than one in Guilty Gear. At least, I don't know, as an outsider, that is. I'm just saying, I, you know, I, was, I would say that's probably true, but it's also, like, throws are not as good in in Street Fighter yeah. because they're a lot slower and uh, movement slower, so, so it's a more committal thing to I, do. I, so I there's less to I, counter uh, an invincible reversal. Well, reversals aren't throwable in Street Fighter. Oh, they aren't? That's a Guilty Gear Strive thing. Not even just Guilty Gear Strive. Well, shoot. Shows you what I know. Yeah. I, well, I so, have... So, uh... Okay, so Flash Kick says in the comments that uh, she has Tensho Kyaku as a reversal. Uh, 40, can I tell you Can I tell you a goofy thing? Uh, during the entire beta, I never I never remembered how to Tensho Kyaku with her, and then I also <laughs> never looked it up. <laughs> that is my right. issue. I, oh, that yeah. is yeah. issue I just I went... Game. Yeah, I just went in with, like, all the data that I had from five, which was not a lot. <laughs> oh, it's down, down, kicks. Charge character for everything but that one move. What the hell? Well, okay, I guess, I guess, I guess uh, Yaku, uh, not Yaku. Hazan all right. Hazanto, yeah. No, that's Well, let's else. check out this match. We got let's the color four match We'll talk about here. Chun-Li later. All right, we got so. uh, Taisho. On Anji, Anji and, and now Prada we have Jacko Anji. from Prada, which is interesting. Yeah, Prada seems to be uh, very much a fan of experimenting with a bunch of different characters, mm. and I respect that. I personally can't really do that. Yeah, but learn the whole game. Do, I mean, this could also be a, this could also have been a character learned to fight Anji. I guess that is possible. Yeah. Um, uh, the the big advantage I could see to Jacko is that her advantage state is absolutely ridiculous. So mm -hmm. if Prada manages to win neutral and uh, and get in on Anji and get these minion setups done, then how does Anji get out of that other than spending burst or YRC? So, yeah. I mean, sometimes the best way to deal with your Fujin follow-ups is simply not to have to deal with your Fujin follow-ups. <laughs> yeah, just get out of there. Start over. <laughs> Change your name. Move to a new city. That PRC was really smart, yep. uh, managing to do that out of the auto guard. But rather than going for the, the predictable throw, um, which probably would have gotten teched, he instead went for a jump, hoping to bait out a throw. Mm -hmm. uh, it didn't work, but he also didn't get killed for it, so sort of half yeah, take in. The, take the bad with the good, yeah. <laughs> that was a very convincing win from Prada. It really was. Um, someone has studied up on Jacko very, very well in the yeah. what, the week that we haven't been here. Jacko's uh, lows are really, really good, and I think that's the main thing that Taisho is going to need to do in order to start mounting a counter-offensive here. Mm -hmm. Well, if Prada's Basically, gonna... I think if Prada's ooh, gonna that beat really Taisho good. Nara, uh, they're gonna have to do it quickly because uh, Taisho Nara is one of those people who really learns, like, what's going on quickly. Yeah, and that... We see that with that code that immediately just opened up Jacko for that huge damage combo, and this is looking like it's... might be an open and shut first round, but signs of life here from Prada. Ooh, that was a really good match from Taisho there. Oh, wow! And what a good PRC. Mm -hmm. Those instant right. overheads. Yeah, Prada, you're not walking away from this one unscathed. Ooh, yep. Victim of the throw timer. Did not yeah. hit confirm. Oh, nice DP. 
Yeah, Ko is a bit of a weird DP. It's a fully air invuln, but not ground invuln. So it doesn't really work as a reversal, but it is one of the best anti-airs in the game. Because as you can see, he can act after uh, after using it. And that works on whiff too. Mm -hmm. If he whiffs it, he can continue to act in the air. Makes it a very valuable movement tool for the usually linear producing uh, or linear movement of Anji and wow, that was pretty convincing the what other an way. Answer. Yeah, I, I'm I'm wondering if uh, now I gotta got wonder lucky. if Prod is gonna stay on or. Uh, I guess we'll see. I, I mean, we've disengaged. We're coming back. Like I said earlier, it's it's such a volatile thing. Both of these characters have strong advantage states. Now we can argue as much as we want about whose advantage state is stronger, but. Both of them really rely on the same thing. Man, getting that man, opener, getting something. buttons to press that are that are going to get you in and keep you in. Mm -hmm. Some uh, fun network shenanigans going on there for a second there. Yeah. But, but it, it really can come down to just who plays neutral better. And it looks like a promising start from Prada here. Yep. If, uh, you know, if she gets the uh, the startup time, then Jacko's just a steamroller. Yeah, got the hard knockdown on the other side of the wall. This is going to be a tough situation for Taisho to deal with, especially with no meter. He has no way to force this situation without using burst. And there it is. It looks like uh, he he tried to bet it all on a on a cross up read and didn't quite get there. But I mean, opening it up with a co right there, unfortunately, drops the combo. But uh, still, big neutral situation win, and uh, we're back in it. Mm -hmm. He's got advantage, so he doesn't have to approach if he doesn't want to. Yeah, he, really. he approached, and uh, that was maybe a little questionable, but we'll, we'll see how it works overhead. out. We're in juggle. Yep. Missed the wall bounce, oh. though. Slight reprieve. Yeah, he dropped, dropped the combo just close slash oh, a little too late. For it. Great catch, reversal catch, super catch. from Prada. Yep. Yeah. The Iron okay. Maiden Zuna drop. You gotta love it. Okay, yeah, that was good. So after after Jacko's 2D, her sweet, she can uh, special cancel into a number of things. There she did the minion kick, which is definitely something that ends her turn. So <laughs> it was really good for Taisho to recognize the situation and make sure that Prada didn't get to pull any minions and start to run her offense. Exactly. Yeah, if, if, I mean, Anji's pretty good at playing suppression, so I could see how this could go back and forth pretty easily. It's, it's all, this is that Anji, I think, needs less. Ooh, that was a great way to bait out that throw from Prada, but didn't get to capitalize on it. Oh, oh now we're getting chewed up here. Oh, this is going to be a close game. Taisho has the meter to make something happen here. We might see a counter super, we might see a YRC. Although, from the looks of it, we might see an RRC. Right to the in. ground. Ooh. Cross up. Gonna oh, need the burst. Yeah. Oh, good punish. There you have it. Gotta be really careful bursting against Jacko because uh, there are so many situations in which her minions can be attacking and she is still actionable, so she can block. Woof. Yep. Oh, I, he fell over so deep on the screen, I thought he left the room. Ah, uh, tomorrow, people. Tomorrow, the patch will fix everything. Believe Arxis. They know what's yes. best for you. They, I think they have made no promises as far as that goes. <laughs> I, I know that they have talked about fixing it, but I don't think they have talked about fixing it with the next patch. So I thought that's what they... I, honestly, I thought they released a, like a pre-note that said, wow, yeah, like what we're, a making, combo. we're making progress on that for the 25th patch. Yeah, I hope. I hope. And, and there it was again. Mm -hmm. They're actually getting to capitalize oh. on it. Prada baiting out the uh, situation with the jump. Yeah, it's you see the minion explosion the and uh, getting burned for it a little bit. But the drop. Oh, yeah. straight into the sweep. God, that was fast. Yeah. Prada's looking pretty good here. Mm -hmm. This and, is uh, a set point for him. Wow, and what a minion setup. I think, oh man, honestly, I don't know what I do here. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to solve this problem. Um, uh, but well, you're you're Geo, so I mean, like, 
you would probably want to just not even find yourself in this situation to start with, right? Like, you just play offensive <laughs> offensive suppression so that the, the bots can well, come that, out. Yeah, I mean, that could be said about literally anyone in any matchup, I mean, though. Sometimes you have to play against the character rather than, than play to your own character's strengths, I feel. Yeah, but jeez. And in that time we had that conversation, Prada just got to run yeah. over that Anji. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess the one thing I can say uh, that I saw that maybe wasn't working super well was he was trying to force the issue with every minion throw. Every mm -hmm. minion throw, he's coming in spinning, hoping the hoping that'll get him in, but that either got him thrown or got him outspaced, and it never dealt with the minion. So I think maybe what he needed to do was start <laughs> mashing on the minions, killing them midair, that kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, did you see Kip's, but, uh, Kip's comment in the chat? The fix for network issues is to drop Xbox crossplay. That could be it. That was what introduced the network issues. All right. Well, uh, Blitz, looks like you're going to take a temporary reprieve from the action and uh, go fight Taki Nakano. Uh, am I doing that on stream or off stream? Uh, it's up to you. Oh, uh, on stream for sure. But whether you want to commentate your match while you're doing it is up to you. OK, uh, well. How about uh, I join the uh, the lobby first, and then I worry about that later. Fair enough. Tell you what, uh, everybody, we're going to run uh, a quick two-minute ad break so we can make sure that nothing, uh, no ads roll over the actual action. Um, so we've been going for how long? Uh, 25 minutes or so. They should probably be trying to kick in on their own. I don't want that to happen during the actual fight. So let's run these two uh, subs. We're not going anywhere. Uh, followers, viewers, stick around. We will be back. And that's how that works. Yeah, awesome sauce. Those those ad breaks can be super annoying. Oh, I totally. was tuning in last week watching uh, Advent's matches, and man, that was brutal. He was mm -hmm. he was uh, it was two two against Flash Kick, and then bam, ad, and I'm like, oh. no. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm gonna try to police that a little a little better. It's a good call. Uh, what is the room ID? Is oh, it it's, pinned it's in somewhere? the pinned comments in the in the online. Okay, I see it. I was able to join the room with that issue. Yeah, I, like, after that one time, it seems like things have sort of been okay. Like, there were, like, two weeks there where everyone was just glitching out of existence, and since then, it's kind of been okay. <laughs> where there were, on my screen, alternate universe versions of the, of the player avatars that were doing completely different things from the ones on your screen. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Some absolute sh shenaniganery was going on. <laughs> uh, so Blitz, you're going to Combo Breaker, right? I actually am not. Oh. Uh, I am Brother! not. <laughs> I know, right? I would, I would like to, but, uh, but wasn't in the cards. I'm doing some uh, research at uh, at IUSB, just uh, trying to trying to uh, give myself a research accreditation for my uh, my degree. So Fair enough. I had to think about that. Doesn't mean I don't have time for the matchstick bros, though. Aww. Uh, I just actually got a DM from Kellen, who has said, sorry, I'm at the movie theater watching the new Guardians. What's up? <laughs> That's a good a reason as any. So I am going to go ahead and uh, deafen. So. Cool. Have fun commentating what's hopefully a good match. I will do my best, and you guys do the same. All right. All right, folks, we are getting into it. We got Blitz versus Taki Nakano. With this match, Nakanoing at your door. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blamed Hey, the Flash King, at least it was a planned ad, all right? They're over now. 
can't even run another one for six minutes. So shush. Besides, you need to now you need to focus on your pupil. Make sure to yell uh, hurtful things at him in the chat. Ooh, right away, Taki saying no thank you. Oh, commentator. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, why not? I figure, hey, you know, I'm here. Anyway, Taki opening up strong. Let's put on the back foot immediately. Luckily, gets that wonderful Seiken that you love so goddamn I much. I love the Seiken so much. Can't quite take control of the match, though. Taki putting him on the back foot yet again, forcing the block situation. Here's another block sequence for this. Using those records to just keep it up. Not quite close enough to punish the third hit of the record there. Doesn't burst out, keeps it up. He's probably not going to spend it this round. Men's more meter, keeps going. There's another throw. That's going to be it for round one. Taki taking it. Does Taki feel particularly murderous to you tonight? There's a certain edge to them tonight, that's for sure. Mm. All right, Blitz opening strong with the uh, burst right away. Now, he likely won't get it back this round, but if he can survive to the third round, he could probably get a th another one before the end of the match. Oh, nice. Got the knockdown. Mm -hmm. Go for the setup. It's yeah, the, the dust. Yeah, Full yeah, yeah, dust. the 5K dust special. Now, if nice. we want to talk murderous, look Good at this. Good infiltration. And just like that, Taki is the one getting run over this round. Yeah. So Blitz with less than half of his burst returning, manages to get a few little hits, but doesn't quite convert to knockdown. Gets the counter hit, 5H, full combo. Taki now with half life, There's slowly back losing it. Yep, burst is back for Taki. Doesn't get anything off of that uh, punish against the full charge dust. Who gets the counter hit, but bursts out, manages to hit with the sword, tries to force the situation here. Ooh, Seiken's out. Very good awareness from Blitz. Yeah. Manages to come through, swinging really hard. Mm -hmm. Good mid-screen juggles back there. Mm -hmm. He's almost got a full bar. Ooh. More Tovato to get out. Seiken, strike. Yep. And the quick RC takes it. Blitz putting the first one up on the board. Looked like a shaky start, but uh, potentially our boy has found his six-speeded footing. I don't know. Taki looks kind of murderous. We'll see Taki if that uh, bloodthirstiness. Yeah, we'll see if that bloodthirstiness can be carried into this next match or not. Mm -hmm. Gee, As we on. prepare for a combo breaker weekend, how are you feeling? Uh, left out. <laughs> uh <laughs> Mankind knew that they cannot. You know, if it's, Man, if, it's a pure, if it's a pure numbers here. game, I have no problem losing the pure numbers game, like based on you know everyone else has bigger numbers. But when other mm -hmm. people have smaller numbers, then I get annoyed. Oh, oh. Well, anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Blitz having a slight solution, life sorry. deficit, but Taki is forced to burst out, taking away their only defensive option here until they get meter. And mm -hmm. there, there's there's the meter two spend. But they're going to definitely go for more pressure here in the corner. Tries to force situation, keeps going for the lows, oh, building up that risk. Up. That means this is going to hurt. And yep, through the wall. Whee! 6H through to finish it off. Crash Javon concert. having no health, nope. using the Rekka to charge right in. What does uh, Geo have for a health total? Um, well, I mean, the health is all the same for everyone. Is for it? Guts, I, thought is it was, I thought it was uh, weighted. Everyone has 420, but their guts is different, so. Oh, so it's a defense value, essentially. Yeah, team. yeah. That's so, really weird to do. <laughs> yep. So her defense is kind of on the lower side when she has no meter, but when she gains about 50 meters, she kind of equalizes with like Soul and Kai and such. However, when she's at max, her defense actually is only beaten by Nago with no blood and uh, Potemkin. Gotcha. So it's a dynamic value. Okay, that makes a little yep. more sense. Now, it's really interesting. Uh, Blitz taking that next round. Mm -hmm. But it's interesting because Geo, prior to this, didn't have anyone who mirrored this ability. But now Nago has the opposite effect of the more meter he has in his blood gauge, the less defense he has. Right, but clearly the more offensive power. Well, no, the, he has more offensive power at lower blood. I thought it was the opposite way. Somebody told me it was like uh, the more the more bloody the more bloody he has, the stronger he is. But if he like, but then you know, of course he can go over and 
get blood starved or whatever, or overload or whatever the crap that is. And... He loses access to his moves for out of threat of going blood starved. However, in exchange, he gains chip damage on his normals. Oh. He also gets more range and more damage overall. Well, his hitboxes increase, or does the, does the actual hit animation boxes increase? I'm curious. Does the actual hitbox? Like, oh, sorry. Does the actual uh, uh, graphic like change to reflect the the more sizable hitbox, or no? Yes. There's like a trail of red over the uh, over the sword. Oh, good. It's very subtle, but it's there. I like that. I like that if they're going to do that, they, they pay bloody attention to the... Mm -hmm. Okay, good, good. Anyway, Taki anyway. Nakano, coming back, swinging hard, getting the, uh, another game, on, getting an A game on the start board. Starting to right away. Mm -hmm. Taki going hard right uh, right at the start. Swinging, uh, swinging at Blitz, trying to take advantage of the situation. Gets the Rekka off the 6H and converts just using their red RC. Going to blow through the wall here. Man, Ramrathal with positive bonus is not any something I want to fight against. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're not we're not seeing any Rekka cancels from Taki so much as we're just using the threat of a Rekka cancel to take turns from uh, Blitz. Pretty smart. Anyway, Blitz. Yeah, Blitz does manage to get a hit though. Forces him up against the wall. Doesn't quite get the hit there. Forward throw. Gets the forward throw. This could be anyone's uh, game here. Morto Bato. Oh, it's out of the situation and then tries to throw, but Blitz no being aware throws. Yep. Breaks out of the situation. Cross up. Use the side switch. This should be it. Oh. There it is. Blitz taking the round. Very close. Both of them should Damn. have uh, burst like immediately. Yeah. Taki's got to be kicking themselves over that one. Yep. But that's okay. Taki doesn't seem deterred at all. Nope. Taki is a very consistent player. I've no I've noticed this. Mm -hmm. Not really one to lose to nerves. Just getting outplayed in the old-fashioned sense. I would say that they do panic a little on defense, but only a little. Yeah. Like, in the sense of, I need to make space now, kind oh, of. Oh, you uh, didn't confirm into that. No, oh, they didn't confirm. that should have been a big punish. To... It could have been, but they chose to use uh, instant block, or faultless, faultless, and faultless pushes you too far away to properly punish. Gotcha. Well... So Blitz takes game three putting up another point on the board. Yep. If they keep up this pace, they could be taking it all the way, but I don't want to count Taki out just yet. Exactly. Uh, by the way, thanks to Thought Of for the follow. It's very thoughtful Ooh. of you. Thoughto. Thoughto one. Thoughto one. No, it's Thought Of. OF. Thought Of one. No, there's no one. No, Thoughts Of one. No. <laughs> yeah, Thoughts Of one. No. <laughs> yeah, Thoughts Of one. I'm gonna throw my coconut. Uh, <laughs> these things called Ferrero Rocher at you. <laughs> anyway, Blitz opening up pretty strong here, taking quick advantage, building up the risk a little at a time. Manages to get the anti air here, tries to go for a combo conversion, but doesn't get anything from the blur first. Yeah. That said, immediately gets the counter hit from the 2D. Gonna break the wall with the our good balls. old friend. Mm -hmm. All the building impacts look really, really cool. I wish there were more of that, like just actually hitting destructible objects. Well, I do like how things in the background can shake and stuff too, right? But yeah, I'm just saying like, this is like the only stage where you actually fly through anything other than the, the, the you know, the transparent medium at the end, at the edge of the, the ring. Right. Like right there, they just broke through the roof and now they're flying mm -hmm. through the sky. Exactly. It's really cool. Anyway. Taki Nakano having nothing left. Nothing Blitz bursting left. out to prevent the situation. If they oh. can't make it happen now, Hang on. then Taki's going to lose. But we do have a corner situation. Whee! So at the very least... Damn, the Ooh. White House gets so, so many much. screens. <laughs> Ooh, has the meter. Whoa. We might still see a conversion that could finish. Bam! Or Tovato, and that's it. Taki's not quite out of this yet, no. Nope. but this is still match point for Blitz. Come on, Taki, tie it up. <laughs> yeah, give us our first uh, game five of the night. Exactly. Show us the seeding is good. <laughs> <laughs> and just get the throw here. Life is about even yeah, right now, awesome. but that can change the drop of a hat in Guilty Gear. And sure enough, Taki Nakano is running out of life here. Catches him with the Rekka starter. Yeah, Doesn't took, quite get anything beyond that. <laughs> it took three hits to basically even that out. Mm -hmm. Yep, 
Oh, nice change of direction midair. Mm -hmm. Nice throw break by Blitz. Ooh. Blitz has all the meter to work with. If they just get a good oh, hit, this RCD. could be it right here. Oh, wow. they dropped the conversion. Oh, what a dash Ooh, into the wreck. Oh, dash. no, the drop. Ooh, oh, Seiken! Didn't have the sword back. Seiken oh, saves he lives! Had, he had Burst <laughs> come back, too. He could have done something about that. Unfortunately, uh, Taki Nakano is sent to the loser's bracket. But indeed. Blitz shows that his Geo is nothing to sneeze at. Oof. Very good showing. Very good showing on both sides. Yep. A little bit of... Uh, Spraying nerves, I think, at the end of that set there, uh, given the fact that both Taki and I dropped a combo in that, like, both sub quarter health. Yeah, it would it would have been game five for sure if uh, if that combo hadn't dropped. Uh, yeah. Well, it would have not been game five if the first combo from Blitz had not dropped, uh, and then it yeah, would have been game five true, after true. that drop, but then it wasn't game five again. <laughs> and you know what? That's content. That is yeah, that drama. is content. That is uh, well, I'm a signal for every me. Day of the month. Content. It's a signal <laughs> for me to get into the room is what it is. Yep. Time to earn my copy pasta. Indeed. Uh, coming up is the second match in our winner's semifinal. 40% flash kick versus S.O. Prada. Ooh, this is Go always Prada. a good set. Always. Prada, Prada. Two, five, three. Be interested to see if uh, Prada brings the Jacko back. Oh. Yeah. Bring the Jacko back up? Jacko, Jacko Geo is an interesting matchup because it has sort of the similar dynamic to the one that, uh, that the Anji Jacko matchup has, mm -hmm. where whoever gets started generally starts to steamroll. But I think that Geo's better frame data and mid-range buttons let her box out the minions better on their way in. So I think this is probably more positive for Geo than it was uh, for Anji. Oh, so I'll be interested to see what product My My counter argument here is that having played a really good Jacko, uh, it all depends who wins the first neutral interaction. Because oh, if, yeah. Jacko, if Jacko's allowed to set up because they won the first interaction, it can be very hard for Giovanna to fight back. However, if Gio wins the first interaction, Jacko plays on the back foot for the rest of the match. Yeah, and that was exactly what we were talking about with uh, the Anji set earlier. Mm -hmm. It's it's exactly that sort of dynamic. But let's get into it. Let's I'm excited. Anyway, I'll be back. I'll get society. So it looks like uh, it looks like we're sticking with the. Uh, with the Jacko after all. Yes, right? uh, Prada has said that they are going to run Jacko uh, all tournament. So, ride okay. or die. Do you think, what do you think Jacko's fascination with Halloween is? You know what? I think if someone names their child, no, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Gear, uh, you not know really the it's, same thing. It's, it's, um, I don't know. It's every other Hot Topic uh, kid's favorite. <laughs> Favorite holiday. Hey, it's my favorite holiday. <laughs> and in how many Spencer's event, gift cards do you have in your wallet? <laughs> exactly zero. <laughs> uh, but this this was a, a promising start from uh, Flashkick for yep. sure. Huge opening we got. But Probably once again, turning the, it around uh, all of a sudden though. Yeah, like the the tides shift Ooh. so quickly in this matchup. This Man, should be back. able to kill. Yeah, I don't I don't yep. uh, doubt. Oh the, no, oh, a drop. A drop! Okay. Can we BRC out of this? No, we can't. All right. This is a... That's... Wow! Oh, what wow. a brave burst! Okay. It looks like... Yeah, Prada remembered the uh, uh, the chip damage, but man, that was a heart stopper. <laughs> All right. Yeah, not, not oh, just... Not just uh, great jump bubbly stuff. goth waifu. Bubbly punk cyber goth Oh, waifu. what a rough burst. Yeah. Oh, and not quite. Yeah, yet again. Midair somewhere. clash, going to the wall again. Splat. I'm glad to see. Uh, I'm glad to see Ooh. Flash Kick trying to put those uh, awesome BRC combos to use, but just barely didn't get within the oh, BRC shockwave there. Reset the names or anything? Yeah. Well, let, look, we're we may be <laughs> training to be professionals here, but we can't get it right every time, right? That's true. 
too full of barbecue I, it, it's chicken a, to make good to make good observation. <laughs> it's such a shame that this bracket with uh, what was it, seven people, six people? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it has an imperfect record with the uh, with the name of the man. So rough. In any event. In any event. Let's see this. Okay, so, so Prodis decides to get mobile straight away. Yeah, that was interesting. We got to see. Uh, see Flash kick watching see for the interrupts no on, the, uh, on the minion it. draw. Yeah, we got to see no one swinging at the start of the round, um, which is interesting. Is I wonder if that'll gonna, be a theme. That I don't hits. know about that. Oh, what? that was a jump. I didn't wait, see it was wait, a jump. Wait, 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 wait. That was Flash kick responding with the aerial super? Yo, yes, it was. The brains on this guy. He's, he's got to get the Tempest Dot in there somehow. And that was that was nice, that uh, FRC into uh, 2S. Yeah. Got to see me use that a few times against Taki, but uh, getting to see Flash Kick do it. Full dust. Always hits no a little burst. different. Also, this exact trick, I think I stole earlier in my set from Taki. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, maybe a little bit of influence happening there. Oh, oh wow. And oh, this no. is dead. Oh, could have bursted out of that, but I think I think the war was probably already lost. Yeah, potentially. I mean, if if nothing else, Prada can use this as a as a case study. <laughs> Learn, yeah. Learning the matchup. I mean, yeah, it's I it's mean, very possible that they think that uh, Jacko is the answer to forty percent uh, Giovanna. So, the more you can I don't know learn if, about your I don't know if I believe that. Uh, Prada, if you're listening, hear me out. <laughs> Geo's biggest counter is Biken, and it always has been. That character feels like she but was. They don't like playing Biken all the time for some reason, despite Biken being really awesome. <laughs> Got the all spiral right. arrow. That hit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a yeah, that was a weird OTG. But unfortunately, getting counter hit aerial Trovao, it doesn't really do much for you. Guilty Gear has weird rules, Blitz. <laughs> yeah, Guilty Gear does have some weird rules. That is true. I've played just enough Street Fighter 4 to know that uh, some of the rules are weird. Oh, I mean, that's Capcom, though. They made Monster Hunter. You can't trust their hitboxes for... <laughs> Look, man, I just I just played Ibuki and spammed the command grab. Ibuki was pretty tight. And yes, the, the, are, the, the neck Ibuki's twister. Cool. Yeah, that thing, was, that thing was borderline busted. All right. So right. that was that was a big round. Prada yep. struggling for an answer here. Flash kick, I think I think the main thing that we're seeing him do that is so good and getting him so much mileage is he is playing at just the right spacing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's gotta to be critical against a character like to, Jacko. Yeah, I mean there there are particular okay, ranges at which it. Yeah, that hits for sure. There are particular ranges <sighs> at which uh Geo's normals are basically unbeatable mm. and uh he is playing perfectly within that range i'm sorry of i course, love uh, i love the jump punch combos like where it's just like a million uh, little yeah. slaps in the air yeah the stair steps uh, mm. ramblefall is kind of infamous for that yeah he tried to he tried to hit him with that ah, good looking out for it. Up. not not gonna let that happen a second time yep. in this set all right prada working oh, on the on their yeah, first game Needed an extra dash there in order to catch with that far slash. Had the had the back dash scouted, but didn't think that extra step ahead. Oh, and what a 2D! Using it to uh, go under the minion there and catch that counter hit, that is huge. This That's damage strong, is immense. Yeah. And on the other wall, Jacko not going to have Oh, uh, that either. rush oh. down, like right in sync with the back dash. Ugh. You gotta know that caught Prada off guard. All right. Yeah, that's that's pretty tight. Those those safe jumps are very very scary, and mm. often you'll find people want to backdash them. But if Geo is ready for it, that can be so much worse than uh, just accepting the block. Indeed. Almost gave almost gave Flash Kick minus three points. Can't do my boy like <laughs> this. Can't give him minus three. Look, you know, man, if Chalange he, had people-sized arrow buttons. People-sized arrow buttons. <laughs> Dang. Right. People-sized arrow buttons. Yeah, for recording the scores. Yeah, that would be pretty good. So how about that set? You got to put Tempest on to use. That's always a good day for you, right? <laughs> Don't be an asshole, Blitz. <laughs> anyway. Uh, 
but it, it was it was a really good punish there. I well, it was lie. a situation where I was like, okay, he has to jump up and then throw me if he's going to do anything. And I I just took the bet that his pre-jump pr frames plus throw in that situation in particular was not going to beat a five fr uh, a five frame stupor. So you didn't even you didn't even have to worry about pre-jump or anything. She was because he went up hella end lag because that was after you jumped Elysian Driver. Yeah, I jumped the Elysian Driver, then she drifted forward and then jumped up at me. And so as she was coming upward, she got hit. Uh, Interesting. Yeah, I uh, Flash kick, I, I just PM'd you something real quick. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, up next we've got top of losers, top eight, uh, which will be Taki versus Tai Shonara. Yep, yeah, no. Hmm. It should be pretty good. Yeah. I'll, I'll be interested to see who's talk, who Taki is playing. Um, I will say, even just based on the uh, the brackets I've attended, which has been maybe five or so thus far, um, in my in my set, I was pretty sure that Taki's Ramlethal has has come some distance. Mm -hmm. So I'll be interested to see what the uh, what the results of this duel will be. I will that be interested is, course, once I return from the restroom. Ah, yes. Oh, I was Take gonna... care of yourself. Well, yes. I'm sorry, folks. I tried to get it, get an ad in before the fight started, but uh, if anything popped up, Mobby. <laughs> Mankind knew that they cannot change society. We can only hope not. So yeah. On the, the enemy of ads. At least everything will still be on the VOD, right? Indeed, uh, which you will be able to catch in very high definition over on the YouTube channel of the same name. Very high definition. Is that a new uh, new visual standard? Uh, well, actually, so because of the AV1 encoding afforded by the, uh, the NVIDIA 4000 series cards, yes. Oh, you've got actually, one of those? I do, and I actually came about nice. it for free. <laughs> or should I wow. say no, no money out of pocket? That is sick as hell. Yeah. Good to hear. And uh, speaking of sick of hell, how about this guilty gear we're about yeah. to see? Yeah. Oh, and yeah, using that auto guard to deal with uh, the bio neto there, mm -hmm. gonna get him straight out of the corner. Unfortunately, the overhead just barely missing, and not able to pick it up off that PRC. Okay. Ooh. Oh man, Taki just kind of backdashing, trying to make as much yeah. space as he can. Back to the wall there, but on the offensive currently. Yeah. Okay. This, this is a, oh, that's a big chance. Oh no, drop butt. We get to restart things, get some Yomi. Yep. Got the sword back. Yep, that's GG for this round. Very good. I returned to see that Taki Nakano has put Taishonara on the back foot. Yes. Yeah, but we got it's, to see, it's round one. We got to see some sword action. Taishonara tends to do really it. Taki really likes swords. That's, Taisho that's really my, does uh, uh, tend to evolve during a match. Mm -hmm. Taisho Nara, uh, I pointed this out last week when you weren't here, Blitz, but Taisho Nara is the kind of player that if they have time to think, they can very easily take control of a match, right? Mm -hmm. uh, however, a player who plays very aggressive, it doesn't give them that breathing space, will usually take advantage of Taisho Nara's play style. That makes some sense to me. And Taki is very much a uh, a mid-range zoner player to an absolute T. Loves to stand there, wait, try to analyze the situation, figure out the best possible way to stuff approaches. And I think that play style might be their downfall here. Mm -hmm. Like, if you want to play a whiff-heavy play style, it doesn't work oh. as well against uh, Anji because Anji has spin, right? Yeah. And Taki on defense will try to play with heavy using those buttons but unfortunately <laughs> against someone like taishonara who will just spin on you to get in it's not as effective as you think you have to take more aggressive uh more of an aggressive uh, approach to fighting anji in this matchup and that includes a lot of bash up throws you know yeah you can't be afraid of the counter super either you gotta mm -hmm. You gotta let them think it's a it's a real good viable option, so that sometimes you you get to burn that meter, and uh, every time that you manage to make them whiff it, that is one less time you have to worry about it in the future because they're gonna second guess themselves. Unless Always they don't these care. 
Always these mental battles, yes, unless they don't care, in which case, just abuse what, you're, what you did to bait it out the first time. Mm -hmm. Like right there, just trying to like poke with far slash and try to force their way in. Taishonara is taking advantage of that situation. Oh yeah, and Ramblefall is very much a character that is not good at approaching. She's nope. not terrible at it, but it's definitely not the character's calling, not the design philosophy. Mm -hmm. So you just got to play it. Here, yeah. As we're seeing here, Taishonara is just taking full advantage of that right now. Full conversion here off the counter hit. Very strong combo. Might have missed the follow-up. Ooh, tried to do as I said, run up and throw, but they got stuffed for their uh, attempt. Oh, wow. Ooh, and there's the far slash getting caught by the counter. Yeah. And that, that step that in was I wild. Am, <laughs> I am without certain, or without, uh, without... Doubt? Doubt, that's the word, thank you. Uh, I'm without doubt that Taki rec recognized and reacted to that super. The issue is that it, it's active for 30 frames and punishing it can be very, very awkward. Um, it doesn't have a super huge amount of end lag. So it can, there can definitely be situations where you're like, ha, gotcha, you, your counter came out, I see that, and then you hit him. And you get countered anyways, and so you got to put the clown makeup on. <laughs> and then it just turns around and they say, congratulations, you played yourself. You played yourself. And we're going back to the Kai Keys game. Wow, right. that auto guard just eating oh. through that 2 age. That was crazy. It ate through the fireball, too. That was insane. Okay, so let's see what happens here. I personally think Kai is definitely the play against Anji. Mm -hmm. uh, at least. Even though Kai can play a reactive playstyle, he can also smother pretty well too. So. Oh yeah, Kai's Stun stagger Dipper. is ridiculous if you want it to be, and mm -hmm. uh, and Stun Dipper and Fudra are uh, if used intelligently. Can, can we talk about Taishonara's amazing backdash just now though? <laughs> yeah. Getting it's the scary. counter hit for the complete conversion to take a control of the match. Taki not gonna sit on the back oh. foot. Yeah, I just see Anji DP through the air fireball. Yeah. Yes. Like I said, uh, Ko is fully air invuln. It does not care about your projectiles. <laughs> Doesn't quite get the uh, hit there. Doesn't give an F about your feelings. Oh, no. But it doesn't care. Oh, Baits the burst over. out. Yeah. And with wow. a gentle little throw, Taisho Nara sends Taki out of the tournament. Very convincing. That was. Sending Taki yeah, off. Yeah, that on was blue, very impressive. Blue butterfly wings. Mm hmm. No offense to Taki, we love you and we're glad that you're here every time. Oh, absolutely. Damn. All right. Yeah, man. Oof. Kai show that... moves on to losers, uh, losers quarter. Uh, up next, we've got Prada versus Muffler Man. Prada versus Muffler Man. Who will win, the designer fashion <laughs> or the automotive part? We'll see. See, I'm actually wondering, I've been wondering this a lot, but I, I don't know if this is not Red Muffler Man. We met at um, at uh, Frosty's this year. Ooh. And, and you know, we said we'd stay in touch, but, you know, I think we both just kind of forgot, and that's fine, because, you know, it's just summer It'd camp. It'd be like you know. that sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I, uh, uh... I like AG42 in the, in the chat here. <laughs> AG is a friend of mine, and he is an absolute gem because he hates Strive with all his passion, oh, but he him. loves, okay. but he loves everyone who plays it. First, Justin, now AG. How many friends do you have that hate Strive? <laughs> uh, AG's always hated Strive. Don't worry. <laughs> Justin had to slowly hate hate Strive after I crushed his spirit during a tournament once. Oh, um, it's your fault. Yeah, uh, it's my fault. I, I don't believe that. I think I think Justin could be great at this game if he cared. But I think I think he just found his calling with Blaze Blue and wants to stick with it. And I respect that. Yep. He's gonna give uh, Street Fighter Six a shot though, so I was saying earlier, as I've had, the, I had a really good experience with do. it. I'm looking forward so, to running running tournaments that aren't like you know, I'm watching people stutter through water. <laughs> Oh, you're you're talking about the smoothness of the animation. No, I'm talking just the no. He's talking about the, the smoothness of the networking. <laughs> CFN is unfortunately not super great for Street Fighter V, but it is fantastic for Street Fighter VI. Yep. Well, that's good to hear. Not to mention all the server options. Like, what a godsend. 
Yeah, no like small chunk of fucking servers. There's like a thousand server choices. Mm -hmm. And there's even like yeah, dedicated that's... newbie servers. That's always good to hear. Yeah. Uh, Muffler mm -hmm. Man, I don't know if you saw in the Discord, by the way, but you are up, so come on back to the room uh, as soon as you can. Oh, you know what? While we're doing that, ad time. Yes. Ad break. Ad break. So Flash, well, I are tell you, you excited guys, for Combo you know, Breaker? <laughs> NordVPN. <laughs> NordVPN. <laughs> you excited for Combo Breaker? I am excited for Combo Breaker for one simple reason. It's because you get to share the car with Kellen on the way there, right? Two simple reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it. Um, so with the way that the bracket is currently uh, set up, uh, if I win my first three matches, I will qualify for top 64, which means I get a Chipotle to, uh, voucher. Um, For which game? Uh, Street Fighter Five. Okay. Yeah, uh, Prada, hold off till the ads are <coughs> over, okay? Oh, good, he saw the thing. Um, All right, good. <laughs> so that's the one oh. thing. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, you coconut. The mm. second cool thing is that uh, I have two p I have a uh, two matches that are important to get through. First one's against a player named Just Pokey, very good Falk player in Street Fighter Five. Uh, but if I get through him, I get to fight the le the man, the myth, the legend himself, Brian F. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Now this is assuming no one knocks Brian F. out of uh, you know his uh, winner side bracket, which I don't think anyone will. I have a lot of faith in Brian's ability, so. But that said, um, I have someone I taught Street Fighter 2, right? And they are a massive Brian F. fan. So oh, as my gift, no. so as my gift to them, I wish to uh, defeat their hero one last time before we switch games. <laughs> you you gotta give them a reason to come back extra strong yeah. in Street Fighter Six. Pretty yeah. much. I've had motivations where it was just being a jerk as well. <laughs> Honestly, well, it's, not just, it's not even just to be a jerk. It's like uh, I like I like Brian F. a lot too, right? He's very yeah. nice. He's very informative. He he tells it like it is, and that's it's it's good shit, right? Um, that said. I feel like my student has been taken from me. <laughs> and I must win back their uh, their affections uh, via via defeating their idol, you know? Somebody, uh, somebody you really gotta be like, man. this look, Brian F guy is a false idol. Look at Luke <laughs> wanting Kylo back over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got Prada and Muffler Man. Indeed. What is it with the color sync today? I Everyone's thought that's uh, happening a lot in the FGC. Just like people are, are syncing costume colors. I respect it. Unfortunately, fair, nobody's getting me off color for <laughs> Unfor uh Similarly, in Street Fighter V, a lot of people wear the same tracksuit that I use for Kage whenever we did our Mighty Moto Monday tournaments. Mm. And now, now it's all. Now it's uh, everyone's convinced it's just Team Flash Kick whenever you're wearing Costume Five is the <laughs> tracksuit. <laughs> Man, if anyone's not wearing the Ashura costume on Kage, I immediately consider them, like, borderline out of the tournament already. <laughs> okay, fuck you too, then. <laughs> All right. Well, let's take <laughs> anyway. a look at this Strive match in front of us. We Muffler got, Man. Oh, my God. That was a huge counter hit. Yeah, you absolutely had to burst that one. Uh, but, yeah. yeah Potemkin Muffler versus Man still has his, uh still has his burst, so let's see how this pans out here. Ooh, gets the blue RC, manages Whoa, to kill all the minions, get a knockdown, traded a little life for it. Yeah, it's important to remember that when you hit a minion, you can Gatling off of it. Mm -hmm. And that can oh, absolutely no. save your life. Oh, no. I yeah, like How's it feel, Potemkin? <laughs> I, have, I have a suspicion that that pop buster was too early anyways. I, think I it, don't. It was, I think it was just right. It's just that, you know, Elysium Driver. Yeah. Those wake up eye frames. Okay, there's the burst burned. Got Jacko in the corner. And uh, she is back out. This is looking. <laughs> wow, what an anti air. Yep, we're back to neutral. Ooh, gets the hit, but doesn't get the conversion. 
a punish with the Mega Fist. Muffler Man has a slight health advantage here. There it goes. Ooh, oh, what a Mega yep. Fist. That's back. Oh, wake up, Gruda. Oh, this is a full a hit big here. Big opportunity. Yeah, this is a good Gigantic Kai. Gigantic Kai. Yep, and there it is. Every Potemkin tries to go for that. The uh, <laughs> the 2K into well, I mean, 5P. It's, it's a good it's mix, effective. though. Can't yeah, win it's effective. Not it's a good mix. <laughs> It could Yo! be really hard. Wow! What a pop buster. It could be really hard to uh, kind of see the particle effects and see what pots up to behind that shock wall. Someone's mm -hmm. mad about the Iron Maiden Azua. Yep. But fortunately, Muffler Man Prada putting pretty, up pretty yeah. that. Muffler Man putting up a pretty good fight here, pushing back against Prada. It could be anyone's game depending on how this next interaction goes. Oh, Minion staying on screen for as long as possible. Gets the slight knockdown here. Forces the burst out. Gigantor Kai to try and force his way forward. Jumps I think, over. I think no character deals as much chip damage as Jacko does. It is crazy. I would, more than Naga? I would wager. Uh, yeah, more than definitely more than Naga. Wow. Definitely more than Naga. Each each of the minions attacks, and each time they bounce off of you, deals chip damage. Well, oh, Elysium Driver. Super. Once again. Oh! Yeah. I don't wow, think that, that was a backdash. I think it was just wake up. Yeah, it probably was. I think I got fooled by the animation. <laughs> mm -hmm. I swear to God, it looked like uh, Prada took that Garuda. Well, he did. So uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm just saying. Sometimes you just gotta take it on the chin and then pop buster pop. Oh, uh, you know? Muffler took it on the chin, all right. Either way, <laughs> this is turning out to be a very interesting matchup so far. Mm-hmm. Definitely one of the more squishy-looking characters up against uh, the undisputed beef tank. Mankind knew that they cannot My 2,400-pound <laughs> idol. <laughs> I wish I could get gains like Pot has. Sadly, my I think I can, but I would girl. never want them. <laughs> it, it's, it's my neighbor and my neighbor Potemkaro. <laughs> Man, and getting forced right into this corner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Taking a bunch of chip damage, taking this disadvantage. Went it's low. a rough situation right now. Little hits, little hits into Elysium Driver. We're going to go through the wall. And Muffler yeah. Man has basically no meter to speak Still has of. the burst on hand, but we'll see how they pan out. Health bar. Yeah, Ooh. that's dead. Wow. No willingness to challenge the Crouch, uh, the crouch K. Yeah, that, I mean, Jacko's 2K is definitely one of the best in the game. The low profile war crime is what it is. It's fast. It has a lot of range. It is mm -hmm. so good. And it links directly into that also really good 2D. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Jacko's, uh, Jacko's offense, what a strange gold burst. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a wild guess and say maybe that was a misinput. But either way. Prada got a lot of tension in those is, shoulders. It is given, yep. uh, yeah. well, and Prado sure as heck has a lot of tension right now. Oh, manages to the... uh, guard the cross up, yeah. takes him out, and manages to get the hit there and send uh, Muffler Man down 2 0 now. Yep. I think I think that might be part of the issue, though, guarding that, that cross up, because the that's what Jacko really wants to get that sandwich set up. And we, we're seeing Prada do that a lot. We've seen him or them do that a lot in, in, in each of these sets. And you got to start challenging it at some point. You got to you gotta start hitting some anti-air or something to stop her while she's going above you. If anything, i just like to see a challenge to these 2Ks. Oh, the 2Ks too. But yeah, because like, you just see 2K, 2K, 2K. Yeah, it is scary. You might get counter hit by 2D. But if you don't put it on the table, the opponent will just keep taking advantage of it. Like, You've seen me get away with, you know, like you've seen me get away with war crimes, basically with my 5K. So, yeah, I'm I'm thinking maybe Mega Fist as an answer to that. But honestly, I don't know enough about Pot to know. If I that out. like up close. I just want to see a two uh, two P or something, you know. <laughs> like block a 2K oh, and dead. get yep. a two P out there. Yep. But Prada puts another point in the game. We're potentially seeing match point here from Prada. Ooh, jump oh, back, Mega there's Fist. the Mega Fist. Mm -hmm. Here they're all match. Aruda Impacto. Yep. Got that knockdown, but the burst gonna come out. Save Prada's yep. life. 
getting Echo's tossed very, again with another 2k. Oh. Ooh, misses the throw. throw attempt and gets thrown for their there trouble. Hot buster. This is, yeah, that's the end of this round in Mufflerman's uh, favor. Was Showing some like, signs of life. Was that four moves? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, something like that. Jacko is a very <laughs> squishy character. Ooh, I like the use of 5k from Muffler Man to stuff whatever Jacko was going for there. But yeah, but see, Ooh. he got dash 5, 2k, dash 2k, dash 2k, and Muffler Man just let it all rock. You know what I also want to see? Some faultless. Mm -hmm. Push Jacko back out. Make her spend uh, extra frames getting oh, I, extra range. I forgot that. Yeah, you know, push Jacko back out so she stops the taco. <laughs> exactly. Good throw. That has potential to be a copy pasta. <laughs> I mean, actually, they kind of already did that back in the 90s with Michael Jackson. I believe it. There, there oh, was something, that something was about him being stuff. like, Ooh. Another great stuff. Muffler oh, wackos the Jacko. Jacko's oh, no. holding Bacco. Wacko Jacko oh, on no. his Bacco. What an unfortunate oh, burst. No. Mash is out of the sandwich setup. The oh, was this real. game. Yes. Oh, Muffler Man puts a point on the board by knocking Jacko Bacco. That's We're wacko. In there. Yeah, that was wacko. <laughs> and their sister dot. That was an absolute <laughs> slobber knocker. I would, I love to see Muffler Man mashing out of that uh, that sandwich pressure. That was great. Absolutely That's, great. Honestly, it's like I said, as soon as he starts challenging some of these things Prod is doing, he starts to see a little bit more success. If he just sits there and takes it, he's going to lose. He's got to put a willingness to at least try to mash out of the pressure. Well, if he doesn't, FD macro. there's a reason that survival of the fittest and evolution go hand. We got to see Muffler oh, Man oh, evolve, oh. and mm -hmm. we got to see a little bit of that last oh, round. No Let's see if he can keep win. it up. Oh, there's a 5P there. All right, gets the slight mix up here. Prada looking very strong with these setups. Wow, what another a knockdown. Combo. Ooh, gets the cross up, up here, cross under. forces him back in the corner. All right, good wire mm -hmm. Ooh, oh, yes, oh. mashing on these these air approaches. He's he's getting a lot of mileage out of that these past two games. Doesn't quite right. get the 5p any air though. Okay, Ooh, well, smashes the minion yeah. and Jacko. <laughs> Got it on the rebound. I would smash Jacko. Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh... only Soul smashes Jacko. <laughs> oh no. Well, Jacko smashes Potemkin by the looks of it. Absolutely tearing up the ground there. Yep. Yeah, if it was uh, Japanese product. soul, he would call. If it was Japanese soul, he'd call Blitz a bastardo. Uh, that is, that is probably true. <laughs> Get cut. Okay, yeah, he he tried to stuff that air approach there, but got a little hasty. Mm -hmm. Now that he's finally put it on the table, uh, the Prada seems to be playing around it. Gets the throw in the corner though. Butt slam gets the knockdown. Play around and find Deruda. out. Deruda say. Oh, oh no! Yeah. Tried to make a big call out, but doesn't quite get anything. Oh, good another throw. It's a relative. Oh, Elysium it's Driver is going to push super. back another Garuda attempt. He's Muffer living Man this. sitting on those last little bits of life. He's still living Any this. block. Got him. He can't block a throw. And Prada puts Muffler Man out of the tournament. Good try from Muffler Man. It looks like he yep. made an honest effort at trying to apply some of the things we were talking about. But in the end, Prada was just a little too much for him. Yeah, it was... I, I think if he looks back at those VODs, sits there, pen in hand, taking notes, I think we could see a very competitive set between those two in the future. Indeed. Mm -hmm. hey, no, I really is, like is the idea. This early, uh, early Prada on Jacko as well. I mean, they could... Uh, they could very yeah. easily evolve, yeah. Oh, yeah it's, the, sure. it's the treadmill. You gotta, you gotta do what you can to keep up. Exactly. Hola, Kellen. Estoy buscando al maltito bastardo. That is a meme nobody in here will get except for me. But you know I'll what? I appreciate about, I'll it. I'll ask Kellen about it tomorrow. You'll you'll get the image, and it will probably become your life for the next at least hour. <laughs> that picture is so funny. Let me say goodbye to Muffler Man real quick. Although I guess I can probably do that in the chat considering that I've seen them watching. Muffler Man, thank you for coming out tonight. Really appreciate it. Good showing. Uh, almost made it to top four. Yeah, you played well, man. Yeah. You really did. Uh, yeah, bring that Potemkin back. I'm always, I, I'm, I've got a soft spot in my heart for grapplers, so yeah. I always love some uh, 
always love some Potemkin. Indeed. But we are anyway, Blitz, to top Flash four. Kick and I now? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Well, you know what? It would be great is if um, Lord Advent became Lord Advantageous and hopped into the voice chat. Dude, true. He could take Advantageous of this exactly. situation. Advent saying neither one of us needs to deafen. We just have to talk shit the entire match. Gift. <laughs> Let, let's get uh, Advent. 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 Come on. Come on, Blitz. Be the Chad Vent. Chad Vent. Chad Vent. Chad Vent. Chad Vent. Let's see. What did we last run? We ran an ad back at the... Ring the Hey! Now we can actually deafen and you'll have someone to bounce ideas off of. Yeah. And I'll be here as a giant whiteboard. character, Giovanna, fighting against herself. Dude, my favorite character, Giovanna from Guilty Gear Strive. All right, tell you what, we'll run winner's final. We'll uh, pop an ad to make sure the next three go off without a hitch, and that's how we'll do it. Hopefully we'll... So you're cool. saying so we should play now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys, yeah. You guys should right. be able to sneak All it right. in under the, under the timed radar, so yeah. All right. Timed radar. Well, let's leave, let's let's leave these two to commentate. All right, yeah, I yeah. wish you two the best of luck in this match. I, I can't really root for either of you because, of course, that, that would be bias. I don't. I hope you both trip over your own feet. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> just, just evil. I, I hope you guys both lose. I hope you double down five yeah. times in a row. I hope you just get melee bananas. Just all. Just... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> all right. So we got Geo versus I. Are they able to match up? Uh, they should be. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Guilty Gear is deciding to work with us today. Yep. Hey, Vidsoon, thanks for the resub. The level difference in these players may be great, but I mean, after that one match we saw on stream that one time, the one exhibition, I mean, they seem to go pretty even, so I'm looking for a good fight here. Advent, how the hell you doing? I'm doing well. I just got home from the movie theaters, just watched Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Did you like it? I did, it was really good. Okay, then, I guess we have nothing to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Well, we have this match to talk about. Well, actually. yeah, I just, I was, I was, I was nonplussed by the film, so. Ah, oh, really? oh, I gotcha. Yeah. Completely, completely neutral on lock on it, huh? Mm. All right, well. All right. Right away, Blitz seems to be taking the offensive edge. Oh, nice, we got Seiken. Oh my goodness. That was for So me. Blitz with the early aggression here. Yep. Uh, flashing, throwing out his burst early to try and like, Preserve space and actually win neutral not. back, but unfortunately, it just doesn't work out as Blitz gets the perfect on Flash Kick here. Oh, that's gonna make Flash Kick so mad. <laughs> that's like, that's like a two neutral interaction, maybe, <laughs> maybe three. But now we're seeing Flash Kick with an early round start advantage, and they're just kind of they're kind of moving over each other. Yeah, at they, this point. they definitely schmoving. They got the zoomies. They, they really are just like <laughs> I saw both of them just jump and air dash over each other like three times. Yeah. Ooh, Flash oh. getting Blitz in the corner with the blue Roman combo. Back. That's going to be a wall break. Yeah, not going to end it, but uh, Blitz, Blitz only got one last position. chance. Ooh, blue RC. Goes for a blue Roman, but doesn't get the hit off it oh. and loses the round. I assume that was probably a missed input on Blitz's part. I choose to believe they're both in VC and Blitz just told him that's still not a perfect. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. They're in a VC on like Messenger, like <laughs> Facebook call. <laughs> Flash it going for the gold burst out of the yeah. corner there. And it's going to make work with it here. Full on Shows the Blue Roman to get the wall break, presumably. Whee. And yeah, that that was extremely effective. Oh, the game is even. Oh, burst out of it. Make sure he doesn't get the counter hit full conversion. Nice grab. Throw combo goes to the safe jump. Chase down. That Can might get it from here. Blitz has the meter. Woo! And that's it. Blitz takes game one. You know what? That's all he needs. Uh, winner's final goes to Blitz. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Everyone give it up. Everyone give it up. <laughs> Honestly, that that neutral was like actually unga bunga as hell. That was solid. That was really solid. Like they, they played footsies for like five seconds and then they just started jumping at each other. <laughs> And it worked out for one of them, yeah. and then they won the round off Just of it. A solid five seconds of fish shaking at each other. 
Flash you with some early Ooh. aggression, but then backdashes off of his off of his combo there. That's the thing I've noticed about flashing a lot is that when he does a when he does the ender with the two one four K there, he'll always do a backdash after to try and like if make this space. was a if this was a pistol duel, he is just getting outdrawn in all these interactions. Right. Blitz seems to just know what flashing is going to do. I mean, it makes sense. They both play the same character, but yeah, I mean, it's more really, just about playing the same character. It's about basically taught him, but yeah, right. <laughs> I love it, that. Like Blitz is absolutely in Flashik's head from the looks of it, mm -hmm. but Flashik's not out of it. He's still got pretty early advantage. Goes for some plus buttons. Yeah, he gets him all the, the way to the corner, but tries to tries to advance in, but just gets punished out of it. Yeah, I think I think typically flash kick needs that mental edge, and yeah. uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be work until that happens. Ooh, is this I'll gonna wake even... up Antonio, This is gonna do... wow. That's gonna do big damage, evening up the game there basically. Throw Goes with to punish. throw, but whiffs. First no back way. In the corner. And All the right. chase down yet again. Our burst out. Version, but he bursts out just to make sure that he doesn't lose the round. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. I fully get it. Oh, this is and probably. It, I think... it. Oh, the five, the uncharged five D taking yeah. it there on the on the wake up. And Blitz has to be kicking himself for that one. I wouldn't blame like, him, but how many, honestly, how many like, dusts have you have you like learned to block against in your career? Listen, I never block dust. I always take it. <laughs> I suppose that's a route. <laughs> <laughs> Get! Oh my God, that's gonna be huge. Yep. It's like bam, one bam, of the bam, hardest bam, bam, damaging bam. combos in the game. Sixty's a good chunk of life to lose. Oh, yeah, and it's gonna be for game. Oh my goodness! Nice little tick throw. Blitz goes up two to zero. Blitz is up two zero against Flash Kick. Is looking like that exhibition right now, honestly. But oh, I'm gonna have to get Blitz's own copy pasta. <laughs> the Blitz copy pasta. I can't wait. But the, every, there's gonna be like five different copy pastas in this in this Twitch stream, and all of them are gonna be from Geo players. <laughs> and they're just all gonna be on Guilty Gear Night too. No, exactly. sorry, that's wrong. Prod actually has a, uh, a copy pasta of their own uh, that comes up on Thursdays. What's Thursdays? Uh, Grand Blue. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I forgot really the Prada. To that. I forgot that's Prada's maiden game. Yep. I saw the uh, the relink trailer today. It's looking pretty nice. I'm so glad that game is finally actually happening. Mm -hmm. That game has been in development hell for years. But honestly, you know what else has been development hell? Guilty Andrew's God. Geo from the looks of it. Guardians 3. <laughs> Guardians 3. <laughs> so true. But yeah, no, Blitz, Blitz is going with this, this early Ooh. aggression that Blitz has over Flash Kick is really getting him here. But Flash Kick's not out of it. He's making sure. No, he's Get it, gets him goals. with the Roman cancel. Burst. Good block. Doesn't go for the Sepultra Ender this time. Makes sense. That move is minus as hell for some reason. Blitz is really trying to catch Flash Kick, put, throwing a kick the wrong way. Kind of has to at this point. Yeah. The, way, the one way he can get Flash Kick Whoa. is winning neutral. Trouble. The way to do that. Oh, no that burst. might be it. Ah, oh, but just doesn't do enough damage. Yeah. But now he's got four now we're neutral. Oh my goodness. But that's right might come back, back during this the combo. Corner. Drops the oh. combo though and gets me all Romans. Burns attention. We out? Nope. Ooh, the dash up 5k catching the back dash. Really good neutral it. there from Flash Kick. Counter hit 2k round start. What was what was what was Flash Kick pressing? Big buttons. Only wait, big buttons. wait a minute. Wait a minute, no punish. Big buttons every Wednesday here on Big MSN. Buttons. Oh! Oh my goodness. Oh nice. Oh, these, these game stop trades. Goes Solid to the wall, the super wall up. break. Whoa. Gonna get a hard knockdown. This is problematic for Flash Kick here. No burst. Oh, punishing that whiff throw so good. And gets the OTG to finish him off. Oh, Everything is going so good, pretty girl. much as Blitz planned aside from losing first round, but he still has his burst. Crack shoot. Which is gonna be an advantage here. Spiral arrow. Goes for his plus buttons here. Oh, the good. Flash gets Kick. Gets the entire, but doesn't manage to confirm off of it. Yep. No, 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 he got the flash kick. Oh. Roll credits. Ins insane jumping. Oh, the oh. first fate. Oh, no. That's going to be big damage. Is Blitz going to get up after this? Yeah. He will get up, but honestly, it's going to it's gonna be pretty hard for him to make this make up this deficit, especially since flash That didn't confirm. Ventani, no. 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 What were you doing? That didn't hit. Don't just give it away on the street corner. There was no hit. Why did you do that? 
Flashing putting himself on the board with that, though. <laughs> yeah. He's not out of it yet. He, he is clearly showing that it he was, is not done playing the game. It was more like a gift, but sure. <laughs> and if I said with flashing last week is anything to go off of, my man will just want to play five games sometimes. <laughs> yep. So this could be the exact comeback <laughs> that he's trying to go on. All right, let's get in there. Oh, early round progression, not favoring Blitz this time, unfortunately. Oh. Goes right for the verse, though, to get back into neutral. That was some good spacing by Flash Kick, but uh, Blitz was actually ready for it. Oh, mm -hmm. not Ooh. that, though. Kicker hits the catching him off guard there. Wah, 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 wah. This one's going to be a hard knockdown. This one's going to be really hard for Blitz to come back from. Oh. Goes to throw. Yeah, really good play by Flash Kick there. There was some psychological action in there too. Did you see them both right. like, like pumping up and down? The just defend on the JH. Really coming in clutch there. Giving him meter and also giving him enough space to actually get a whiff punish there. Ooh, Flash Kick bursting. Two in a row? Come on, the two, man. The two, the two Soul Nascentes in a row. The Flash Kick classic. Man's will never 6P, but will <laughs> always use that move. <laughs> Six, all right, all right, Blitz. <laughs> nah, Where did these normals come from? Going for an 100 that's... meter, he's rolling. This is bait. This is absolutely bait. Oh, nice throws him out throw. of it. Really good play the, by Blitz the there. Has legs. him in the corner now. Flash is going to have to do his best to work out. That's him in the spotlight, losing his religion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Flashing commands to get a hit to confirm oh. here, and the ghost of the close slash to get the burst bait. The burst just slipped We are already the on game five. <laughs> Flash kick didn't even give him a chance to breathe in that one. Nope. Oh my, oh my goodness. goodness. Intentional game five, 40. Intentional game five. Dude, I think, no, I, I fully believe in intentional game five, 40 at this point. <laughs> I think he just wants to play five games. I think he absolutely just wants to go ham on people. We, we need to get 40 a, a, a jersey, Man. like an eSports jersey, the intentional game 540. Intentional game 540. It's new sponsor tag, just intentional game five. <laughs> the te yeah, the team tag is so goddamn long. Immediately putting him in the corner and then Woo! putting him right back in the corner after the burst to throw. That That's just going to kill. Like, oh, you thought timeout was over? No. That's no. his ass. He was like, oh, you got your burst there? Too bad. That's cute. <laughs> Round starts six, six feet. Blitz is definitely rattled out. from the looks of it. But it doesn't look like he's about to back down. Or maybe. Blitz was like, I thought I oh, was he winning, got though. Up. He's going to hurt. Again? This is going to hurt. No, that's not enough to kill, is it? Oh, oh my close. God. Oh, my. Crack shoot. And then just, yeah, the crack shoot comes in and kills. That crack kills. Yeah, it's not blown up. <laughs> Intentional game 540 is real. <laughs> Good shit. Uh, he still can't hear me. He's got AirPods and he can't hear you. <laughs> Good shit, Andrew. Good shit. Thank you. I appreciate it. Now, um, Blitz, I hate to admit it, but you know how I like to play defense. So I just stopped playing defense. Yeah, the thing that you definitely did that, uh, was doing a great job of mixing me up was your uh, your use of throws. I uh, I was using faultless to great effect to keep you out, but obviously it doesn't work on throws. And uh, you really took advantage of that in the last game. Because like I was just looking at it and I'm like, okay, every time I get a hit, it's either on a counter hit situation or it's on him uh, being afraid of throw. And Early in the set, I was like, oh, he's already afraid of the throw and I haven't even thrown him yet. Okay, I'm just going to fucking keep striking him until he starts blocking more. Oh, look, he started using faultless. Come here. I'm throwing you. I'm throwing you. I'm throwing yep. this to an ad break. <laughs> All right. In the meantime, for this ad break, I'm going to go downstairs. But my food is ready. Yeah. I'll be right back. Good, good, good. No, um... So hi, It was sucks. pretty much just a matter... It was just a pretty much just a matter of, like... You came at me swinging, and I'm like, okay, he's going to come at me swinging. I can't just sit here and let him swing at me. I have to be the initiator. So as soon as I started initiating, I was like, okay, he's got no meter to work with, and he has to guess when I go in for something. Hmm. And that's just the whole philosophy of how I took advantage of your defense. 
So basically what you're saying is, it's a matter of style. <laughs> you can't anyway, it. Anyway, that's how not I not. saved Christmas. <laughs> we got any uh, any Cannonball Run fans in here? I really doubt it. That's an even more obscure reference than the one you did earlier. I, You know what? You said Cannonball Run, but all I think pictured in my brain was Logan's Run. Yep, that, that means to me that there are no Cannonball Run fans in here. <laughs> oh, that's the JoJo thing. Uh, no, that's Steel Ball Run. Steel that Ball was Run. based on the Cannonball Run. God damn it. <laughs> the Cannonball Run is a, uh, is, well, it was. It kind of sort of still is, but it's unsanctioned. It was a famous uh, Sea to Shining Sea road race, um, where basically you would get into a car in New York and try to drive to Los Angeles as quickly as possible. <laughs> a lot of law breaking happened. Mm -hmm. uh, the the actual reason for its inception is pretty funny. Uh, the there was this guy. I think his name was Ralph Nader, and he was like. Oh, Cars God. need to be all limited to 55 miles per hour because people can't be trusted to keep them under control. <laughs> and so the then editor in chief of Car and Driver, or no, I think it was Road and Track, was like, you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to host an event where we try to get from New York to Los Angeles as quickly as possible just to prove you wrong. <laughs> so the whole thing was don't get into an accident but everything else is totally fair game. Love those kinds of stories. And we're about to see another story get told. Honestly, some of my best uh, stories in American history are the ones done out of spite. Oh yeah, for sure. Just uh, sticking it to the man. There's the, nothing more American yeah, the, than the that. The backbone of, yeah, the backbone of our creation, really. It's like, hey, quit taxing us. Hey, France, let's borrow money so we can beat up those England guys you don't like. No, we're not paying you back. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we get to see uh, if Taishanara has learned anything from his previous set with Prada. Mm. Mm -hmm. now, this it's is going to be interesting just because, like, if uh, Taishanara can maneuver around the minions, and I think they have a good shot here because Prada... I like Prada, but Prada's defense uh, mainly revolves around using backdash a lot. I think it's a little bit of the blaze blue conditioning there. So, or not blaze blue, the grand blue conditioning, right? And as a result, uh, anytime someone is willing to chase a backdash, they always suffer for it. Taishonara, however, loses, gives up that first round. No, no, no more comments. I, okay. I changed the I changed the wrong letter on his name. <laughs> Oof. It was like Prada, and then I deleted the A instead of the E. <laughs> hmm. Like, that's a bad look. All right. Now, Prada's taking very much clear advantage here in this first round. Mm -hmm. We get the knockdown situation, and now it's Prada's game to lose. We just have to see what they can come up with here. Clean jumping, no follow-up, though. All right. Mm -hmm. Prada hanging on to this burst. Got to see some big damage. Oh, Not the burst! Anymore. Ooh, that could be trouble. This could be very bad. But Doesn't get to get a Co. He was too far away. And puts them to good use. Yep. All right. Yeah, gets Clutch. the run under and gets the close slash to close out the game. Clutch finish by Prada. No bots. No bots? No bots. I like to imagine that there's a mod out there that just makes all of... Um, Jacko's little uh, little minions into like Mr. Handy from the Fallout series. How no. does your brain oh, work? My God. Nobody? God, no, no, hang on, hang on. I think he's onto something. <laughs> I think he's onto something. He's cooking. <laughs> Just imagine you hearing hello there every time she pulls out a minion. <laughs> and they're like the most British robot voice you could possibly imagine. Time to I cook think, the roast for dinner. I think what we need a mod is for the minions to just be all Robokai's head. Ooh. Raw. I agree with that. Okay. Anyway, Robokai for season three. True. Man, and uh, Taishonara for getting out of the corner. Please, Taishonara, show us. All right, he burst it out. Yo, okay, he's right back in. in. 
Wow, and that was amazing. Did you see how the, the zero frames made of the travel throw between combo? That <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. I'm gonna keep it real. Yeah, Puddle's looking very good in this set. Yeah. All the, the counter hit co, really big for Anji. Big Kellen, for all Anji players out there. I think Kellen has a Pavlovian reaction every time I hear his co. So just, true. It just is ingrained into his soul. He just expects to hear counter after it every time. <laughs> I'm just like, what do you mean my jump in got stuffed every time someone does co, even if it's not against me? What do you mean Fuja Art got stuffed by co? I hate it when that happens. I imagine uh, the blue Roman to counter the blue Roman class of strategy. You just hear counter there. in your sleep, don't you? The jumps are right over Elysian oh, no. Driver, but can't Does punish can't off. Combo. Ooh, oh, tries all to right. Go like a crazy like overhead? instant overhead, yeah. Gets the hit here. Bursts That's out. Good burst. Gets the hit. The minion's unable to slap him down. Gets Ooh, the all right, gets the wow. round off. This is going to be. This might be Taisho Nara's. His chance to come back here. The burst meter is not looking particularly even between these two, though. Mm -hmm. So Taisho is going to have to put up a a careful offensive battle if he wants to win this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yell at The back are getting yell cut out. a little bit. Yeah, but unfortunately, Prada is yeah. answering back just as oh, well. Oh, counter, counter super. Counter. Oh, great back dash. Just saying oh, no to that okay. combo. <laughs> cool, cool. Oh, Co the is distance. never punishable. That's definitely not hitting. Oh, no. Get combo, oh, get a combo again. Off it. What is happening here? Probably should have just dusted him. Taisho with all these drops. Yep, tries to throw themselves in. Doesn't oh. go for anything. I disconnected. Oh. Or I disconnected from Twitch. You guys are still apparently fine. I am oh. getting a lot of visual dro uh, yeah. drops on the stream. Yeah, there's so a I lot suspect of... it's a... It's in some trouble with your internet. I'm oh, so tired man. of this, man. Like, at this point, I'm just gonna have to call the ISP to come out and take a look at something. <laughs> this is a really funny freeze frame. <laughs> Hang up. We Dang. had it for for just a second. We got to see Jacko's face utterly surprised as the minions pulled the mask off of her face. Jacko when minions? That's just a surprise reaction image. Gotta love ISPs in America. All about that high download and no upload to speak of. Mm, gotta love ISPs in America. No way, no I don't. What? Let's see if Taishanara can get a download of his own. You see how I did that? That's the stuff that commentators are made of. Definitely. You're gonna win all the medals for commentating at Combo Commentators Breaker. are are built to make puns. That is their entire purpose in life. So true and based, but mostly true. We should be live. Based on, speaking, by the way. Of, wait, speaking of true, these wait, combos. Wait, wait, based these on combos. what? combos. Wow. One fired pizza. How's <laughs> pizza going to get a job now? <laughs> Bird what? flu? Yeah, they tend what? to do yeah, that. Yeah, they do that. You're telling me a <laughs> speaking of flying, Anji right now. Road work ahead. I sure Telling me so. a chicken fried this shrimp? <laughs> wow, and that right there is why Prada loves these sandwich setups so much. Because you just get so much mileage off of them. Yeah, it's like there's, it's like there's bread and butter. your minion and you. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely the B&Bs. <laughs> Don't worry, I laugh internally, Matchstick. Thank you. That's all I ask. Uh, I... <laughs> I completely, anyway. I completely missed the joke, unless it was based on the sandwich. It was. Uh, oh, so that's what it's based on. All right, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we finally found what it's based on. Uh, <laughs> anyway. So you laughed at the joke without, without the bro laughed, it. but didn't know what he was. That's like me agreeing with things that I have no knowledge okay. of. Okay, there was some jank going on there, but man. Either way, Taishonara puts one up on the board. Taisho is yep. putting himself on the board here. Are we live or? Yeah, no, we're back. Like, okay, we're cool. three freeze frames in a row there on Guilty Gear Strive. And Taishonara simply said, no, you will not set up. I will instead <laughs> hit you and kill you. 
Man, I gotta go to therapy tomorrow and then immediately leave for Combo Breaker. What are you talking about? This is therapy. It's therapeutic, dude. I gotta go get snacks tomorrow and then go to and then go to Justin's. Yeah, if you don't go to Justin's, we're leaving you. Wong? <laughs> no, <laughs> not, dude. I wish. <laughs> Our boy Ice Cool. I'm still yeah. waiting for Justin Wong's Idol Showdown video. And that, right. that was pretty cool. It still was not uh, made Idol Showdown. The, uh, the Shih Tzu pulling double duty on the Oki there, not only would it have made the overhead safe, it would have also uh, made, uh, it, it also, as we got to see on hit, allowed a combo to take place. So it's a oh. really good setup that we see there. Taishinara fighting for his life. Jabs out, oh, got gets the overhead, the overhead cool, here. Cool, the Rin. Yeah, That's the gonna be classic. Huge. The classic Anji oh, 2. Oh, but the purple row IP doesn't get anything. Here's the setup. Oh, this All is right. scary. He's still blocking. Oh, His man. defense is impeccable, but unfortunately, oh! Oh! oh, oh, oh wow. show with the throw. Nerves of steel to go for that one. Wow. It's probably more of an automatic response than anything, but damn. And we get to see the sandwich again. Mm -hmm. Here Rod we go. Cooking up Slapped a in between. Slaps out one of the minions, but gets slapped in the corner. Not exactly trouble. the best position to be in against Jacko. Who gets the hit, forces out the burst, goes through the minions, but doesn't really do anything because it hit a projectile. <laughs> a bunch of JPs just to, or yeah, JPs just to force him to stay, but he can't keep Ooh, him in the roll corner. R slash. Oh, oh. Another oh. Another Star Super getting thrown again. When will he learn? 2K slapping his knees out. <laughs> Did oh, not get one. to see the Anji cutscene today. Yep, doing his best here, just trying to force his way forward using the. Getting to jump see D. another more different Anji cutscene, although unfortunately. Taisho getting pushed up against the corner. Oh. Can they make something happen? Oh wow, the six frames caught out. him. But gets knocked down again, sandwiching between the two, using the yellow Roman to get out of the situation entirely. Flip. Getting caught with what I'm going to start calling the Prada special. The it, slight 2K he, to the dash the, up throw. We call that the number seven. Really? Wait, no, that's that's not wait, 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 and it looks like that's going to be the end of Taisho's tournament run. Congratulations yeah, to Taisho, though. Yeah, it was a great you put set. Up a good I, fight. I really enjoyed watching. Ooh, all right. The ultimate contenders coming in to face off against Flash Kick in Grand Finals. We have Blitz versus Prada. This ought to be fun. I haven't fought Prada before. Jacko Stinky. Jacko <laughs> probably smells like flowers. Let's be real. Yeah, Jacko smells good. What are you talking about? All right, I'm a mute. I'm a deaf. Where did this conversation go? You guys enjoy. Go? I'm gonna do my best to put on a show. But we're just rectifying wrongs, okay? Wait, why All did right. Prada leave the room? I don't know. <laughs> they, they did not realize. <laughs> that they Flowers were up. and baby powder. You know, I think I might agree with that. Prada be like that sometimes. Simple ID ten T error. Yeah, so basically, <laughs> yeah, Jacko smells like secret powder fresh variety. <laughs> uh, I, I must say... Jacko I, smells like the Guilty Gear cologne. I prefer ID, ID10T, but have you also heard Pepcac before, Kellen? Pepcac? Pepcac? Problem exists between chair and keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> I love IT... <laughs> I love IT savagery. The other one, which we were just discussing, is the ID 10T error, which is if you spell it out, it looks like idiot. <laughs> Unless you use the word 10, then it looks like uh, it looks like intent. Yeah, but don't do that. Unless your name is Fen. There was <laughs> okay. Oddly enough, I know one programming meme from uh, Japanese culture. This is a deep cut. Let's hear it. Okay, so if you come across the zero sum error, uh, you everybody else that like you tell about it has to immediately go gah. And continue. I can't remember why, but that's the whole meme. Like yeah. if, if you just like 
Null zero, uh, yeah, null zero error, and everyone just has to go, Gah! Apparently it was popular enough, like, it got strong enough on 2chan that it's actually made it into, I want to say, Dr. Stone? Well, this is like, all news to me. I know, right? It's so, it's, 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 brute. I don't get burdened with knowledge unless it is obscure. <laughs> you've, you've got the arcane, the arcane intellect here. He knows the secrets of the oh, dark arts. Me. Callan, guess what? What's up? In September, I finally get my wizard powers. Yo. Yo, <laughs> let's go! I've been waiting Man. 30 years to get my wizard powers. Is the 30 owl finally years, no your sex envelope? is gonna finally get his wizard powers. Yo, if you, if you happen to uh, have any tips on how to acquire wizard powers, I would love to be able to cast a spell or two. Bro, if I could All get right, wizard here's, powers, here's... the last thing I would do is tell everybody else how to get wizard powers. <laughs> Well, it's because, no, it's an open secret on uh, the Japanese started it. Oh. Anyway. Anyway. Um, Where's Prada? So what happened? the saying goes in Japan that if you do not have sex until you're 30, you become a wizard. Mm. Oh, wait, is it wizard or sage? Wizard. Sage is the older. Okay. Well, what, what's the what's the word that they're using? It's explicitly wizard. Like, yeah, okay, so which it's, word? The English, it's the English word wizard. Yes. Okay. Oh. That was a who's on first moment. Because, because okay, so the Japanese actually have a a term for um. Uh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom post, while I'm waiting. Post finish clarity. Oh. Oh, it's not clarity. It's called Kenja time. Kenja time. Kenja time. That, that's literally what they say. Uh, anyway, I posted the image in Tourney Chat because it's obviously relevant. <laughs> that's great. Actually, yeah, insane that this is in an anime. What's funny is it kind of looks like the dude has Hosho Marine on his t-shirt. So to read it off of uh, good old Know Your Meme, thank you, Know Your Meme. The myth is believed to have begun in the now defunct Japanese free Enquet voting generating service known as the Automatic Enquet Generator. Uh, the phrase 30-year-old male virgin becomes wizard became popular among users of the service around as early as the year 2001. After the service shut down on May 2002, the phrase was picked up by other Japanese online communities such as Futaba Channel. The earliest known recorded mention of the legend on the Western net was an Urban Dictionary entry submitted on December 21st, 2008. <laughs> it spread in November of 2011 in the fifth episode of an anime series known, uh, titled uh, from the anime series Haganai titled This Time the Saga is a Serious Battle. Oh, uh, you know what? This is along the same lines as... Um... I don't think it was ever explicitly said in the game, but uh, there's a character in Danganronpa who mm -hmm. is a uh, cross-dressing computer whiz. And the the meme eventually emerged that uh, cross-dressing helps you be better at coding. And maybe coding yourself with clothes and getting some fashion sense. Maybe. That was a horrible pun. I should be ostracized. <laughs> You know what? I mean, I wasn't gonna drop. Uh, you know what? Perhaps to you should. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on. I, I know how to. I know how to handle this one. Blitz. Uh huh. You're a fucking idiot. All right, moving on. Yeah. Anyway. Damn. I got hit with the ID ten Do tier. I really <laughs> yeah, but seriously, uh, where the fuck did? Uh, yeah, Prada has I disappeared. Prada die? They, they disparude. They were like, "I beat Tai Show. That's all that matters." Yeah. Tournament over. <laughs> Kelland. You That's should me. post the Ola is Estoy buscando al maltito bastardo que creo el actualación del banco estado. I need you to give me that one. Image. That meme is actually insane. I'm DMing Prada as we speak. Although I don't know why I would really want somebody in my tournament who sent me a 
picture of raw hamburger sandwiched between two uncooked pop tarts. Prada's just a real big fan of sandwiches, man. <laughs> really? Everything, Absolutely. Everything about that character into sandwiches. Here, now now we all can share. All we can all relish. No, oh, God, I, I wish mean, I wish there was that was relish. basically hang on. That's basically the fight we just saw, right? Oh god, it's got a bite taken out of it. <laughs> Someone ate that. By God, Holmes, you've cracked the case. That sounds delicious, AG. I don't think you know. I don't think you know what raw meat does to a man. It burns holes in your brain. True. You could get cool. It makes you a wizard, probably. Nah. <laughs> the point is to not get any meat. Dude, so true. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I guess while we're tangentially on the topic, have you guys seen the game Genital Jousting? Oh, no. <laughs> what? Yes, I have. Yes! I have, too. Yeah. Wow, that was a curious hangout. Yeah. Uh, please, everyone, Google search to your heart's content. I am Consider currently using YouTube incognito. searching as yeah, The first thing I get recommended is a Hakko stream. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Insane people tweets. <laughs> uh, all right. At this point, I think we've got to give Prada like two minutes. Yeah, we're putting putting Prada on a timer. Yeah, I hate to do it, but. Damn, shows up to Talk get Talk about you. holes in your brain. How do you think I play Kyo? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what, AG? That's fair. It's entirely reasonable. A AG's just getting slowly more unhinged as the night progresses. We may have to, to just, just end the Slowly. For, for their sake. All right, all right, AG, but why would you play, why would you play Kyo when Shingo exists now? I'm about to say, Brian, you don't know AG like me and Advent know AG. We know that AG. Dude, that yeah, dude is. Right uh, look, I love AG to death. Wonderful person, but their fighting game takes are the thing that Brain Rot is made of. <laughs> Speaking of, well, let's see. Instead of fighting games in specific, games in general, anybody like a, uh, anything out of the PlayStation announcement today? MGS3 uh, means yeah, MGS3. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So there, you guys wait, is can there, take your MGS. Is there a remake, it? or is the is it there a new game? Because what I saw was Metal Gear Solid Delta. Yeah, it's, it's a remake Metal Gear, of three. It's, That's yeah. a remake, and they're also re-releasing the original in HD. Nice. You guys can take your Metal Gear and have it. I want Bungie's Marathon. Dude, okay, Marathon does a cool. Spider Man Two looked really good as well. Like I thought they were gonna play the whole goddamn game on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> you were just like, man, I expect them to play the full game on this. Yeah. Marathon, if you are unaware, was the franchise that Bungie worked on before the Halo series. And it, ah. it, it was the source of inspiration for a lot of things in the Halo series. Uh, it was sort of originally a Doom clone, but it had a focus on, uh, on storytelling. It was sort of uh, regaled alongside Half-Life as a... Uh, an early example of really good video game storytelling. And I am very excited to see what they do with that franchise in the modern era. Obviously, Bungie is basically a completely different studio now, but <laughs> oh, it's there's some only? serious potential in there. Interesting. Uh, Kip, I'm with you, kind of, but at this point, they've done so much crap to the, to the symbiotes in general that I just don't even care anymore. Like, at this point, I'm more concerned that, like, the symbiotes are, like, the, the one that's on Spider-Man is holding back. Like, it has been a nice one at this point, because every other symbiote you ever see uh, is, like, a murder yeah. ball. Like... Yeah, I, I did know that it was an extraction shooter, but um, I think an extraction shooter is the type of thing that you could fold a lot of story into. A lot of really good environmental storytelling. Uh, thing, and Marathon has a uh, has a really good habit of having crazy AIs, which I'm always a fan of. Huge Star Trek fan, obviously. So getting mm -hmm. to see those 
AI is influencing the uh, the extraction arena in various ways, like trolling people. I could see it being awesome. Yeah. Bro, could you imagine Argus from uh, from TN2 from TNG being a, a symbiote? Oh my god! You'll have to refresh my memory. I don't remember. Uh, it's the it's the black skin that killed Tasha. God, that's what I thought it was. Uh, but now that I'm you mentioned it, hold that what thought if... for just a second. It has been two minutes. I yeah, think we have to let Prada Prada, go. Prada said he's in another bracket, and I'm trying to figure. I'm trying to ask him how long he needs. What? Let me let what me pop if... over to a to to the voice chat and see what they're doing. You do that thing. All right. My question is, what if the reason that Tasha comes back as a Romulan is because Romulans actually need the Argus symbiote in order to become Romulans? It is simply the best explanation, given the available facts. I mean, didn't they just basically go like, hey, keep your stupid blue planet, we'll go off on this red planet? and? <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, that's... Uh, actually... <laughs> Yeah, that, I mean, yes, they did split off from Vulcans, blah, 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 and that that one Romulan that looks exactly like Tasha was actually Tasha's daughter because right. of yesterday's Enterprise, Strong blah, 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 blah. In the Yar I'm family. trying to make a joke. <laughs> Just let me make a joke. Let him cook. Darn Star Trek fans. I love Star <laughs> Trek fans. He's People in grand so finals. obsessed with details. He's in grand finals. You better not get reset. Or there will be serious consequences. And by that, I mean, I will roast you. Well, I mean, you know, we've managed to keep things interesting so far. True. True. Yeah, true. Got to talk about Marathon and how it um, could be. Tasha yeah, no, I'm, yeah. I'm very happy for you. I'm glad you got to talk about your thing. Now let's talk about my thing. Metal Gear Online coming back with the re-release of Metal Gear Solid 3. I am super excited. What a hey, fun, absolutely wonderful online gaming system that Metal Gear Online is. And I cannot wait to play it in the modern era. Actually insane that Metal Gear got its online back in Metal Gear, uh, Metal Gear Solid 3, but Mass Effect of the Legendary Edition didn't, didn't get ME3's multiplayer. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Anyways, AG, I'm going to have to uh, agree to disagree. I think I think Denise Crosby looks cooler than she looks attractive. Call me a hater if you want. No, but... you know what? I'm willing. I'm willing to work with you on this one. I, I also think I'll she, may have, she may have been more cool than than cute. Um, Amanda the Adventurer. Has anybody heard of this? Negative. Yes. Maybe. Um, it's basically a like a uh, horror murder mystery that you have to solve by watching VHS tapes of this old children's show where the uh, the main character is like going slowly insane and may have turned into a monster. Sounds kind of yeah. neat. Mm -hmm. I I can dig like analog horror, that sort of thing. It's pretty interesting to yeah. have an actual horror game based off analog horror. I don't think that's <laughs> been done. You know what, but Matchstick? They made it work I, at least. Analog horror game based off of owning a VCR. <laughs> While I'm here, I may as well ask you this question. <laughs> yeah, I hey, distance. I'm going to have a, uh, a friend coming over, and I've been wanting to get him into... Uh, he's a huge Mass Effect fan, which I got him into. Okay. And I've been wanting to get him into Star Trek as well. Oh, sure. And so... I'm thinking about which episode I want to show him. Ooh, um, uh, have you narrowed down the series yet? I mean, like, TNG goes down smooth. Um, TNG, so here's the thing. As long as it's not uh, the Crusher TNG fucks is, a ghost episode. Oh, I made the same joke uh, to my <laughs> other friend who I discussed this with. But in any event, uh, oh, Q-Who is a great Q episode. Q-Who pretty good. Any Q -Who, cute episode, Q-Who actually. is a great episode, but I was actually thinking about The Enemy. Which is the one where uh, where Jordy gets marooned with the uh, with the Romulan, and if I weren't using TNG, it's I am not one of my really considering. Players. 
I'm really considering using DS9 Explorers, the one where he builds the uh, uh, the solar ship. Oh, and, that's like, a pretty good Bajorans one. And Bajorans could get to Cardassia. Like the one episode where Dukat's episode. not a giant penis, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, he was a penis earlier in the episode. Oh, and he's absolutely. Still covering but yeah, the, uh, at least at the end, he was all like, well, you've proved my entire racist history wrong, Cisco. Well done. Look, it's, it's a JG42. You, you, you got to watch Ethics. Ethics. Ethics is the intro episode you should introduce. Which episode was that one? It's the Wharf Barrel episode. Oh, God. <laughs> the Wait, the what now? The Wharf what? The one where the barrels in the cargo bay fall on Wharf and he gets oh, paralyzed. Oh, my and... God. Where they lightly <laughs> tap him and he breaks his spine. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Um, I think I think if I That's were to do like an ethical dilemma show, I might do Measure of a Man. Measure of a Man's pretty good for that. Um, um, I'm going to be honest, like jokes aside, that's probably the best pick. That episode is fantastic. You know what's also Measure probably another good one? Um, I forget the title, but it's the Voyager episode where that rogue Q comes out of the comet and they have the trial about like his right to uh, to observe like ritual suicide. Mm, I don't know if Voyager's a good intro, though. Voyager... They've got some good episodes. I know the whole thing's not no, 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 no. Even as somebody who likes Voyager more than most people, I don't think it's a good intro. Yeah. You know, I, you know what blows my mind? Hmm. There's still ten concurrent viewers listening to this. Oh yeah. I know. <laughs> Dude, the the fans, all of them are giga chads for the fans it. Are the conversation <laughs> is just going nuclear in here. Um so DS9 Explorers, I think, is potentially a really good episode. I, I love that that episode shows off the like optimistic side. I was thinking about the enemy because it it is an introduction to uh the way that that Starfleet tries to do like conflict resolution and mm -hmm. how how, oh, how wow. sort of multi-dimensional the uh, the alien species are. Like, sure, the Romulans are like usually portrayed as guys who stab each other in the back and stuff. But well, I mean, they do. You do know, <laughs> Jordy has to work with one, and yep. in doing so, he learns a lot about that. That's also a really good one. Uh, what's the one with the uh, the um? This is gonna be a weird pull. Uh. You, you, know what, you know what bothered hey, me hey, about hey, that hey, episode? Hey, hey, um, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, Guys, 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 hold up, hold, up, hold the fuck up. We're Let's uh, move your character or something before it gets kicked out of the lobby. Ah. Okay. I mean, oh, okay. yeah, that is a problem. My Yeet. my my pick was um, the DS9 one where they where they go back in time to Terok Nor. Oh, oh yeah, that, uh, Trials and Tribulations. It, you just know it, but yeah, yeah, that, that one's really good. No, that's not trials oh, that's and not tribulations. No, you're yeah. thinking, you're thinking okay. of a different one. That no, was different that one. was Starbase K seven. But still, yeah, still, um, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Trials and tribulations, though. I mean, come on. It's a great episode. It's a great but episode. You it's not a good intro see... episode. Yeah, I know, but still, it's like it's. You kind of need to see. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it's a good comedy episode. Good comic relief. Yeah, but, it's in the same yeah, way the that one... like the one where Cisco thinks that he's uh, the the writer, like back in the twenties or whatever. Yeah. Oh yeah, that one's crazy. That episode is. Avery Brooks just going absolutely insane. Avery gets insane. all the scenery into his mouth. Just he, he can barely chew it. <laughs> the so the DS9 episode you're talking about where they go back to Terak Nor. That's the one where uh, where it, it's basically them in Odo's conscience. Yes, right. right? That's yeah, yeah, the yeah. one I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I, is a I love great that episode. episode. That is. Um. Yeah. Any word on uh, your your opponent? He's apparently in grand finals in a different bracket. I liked uh, I liked Lord Advent's idea. Uh, we we DQ them if they reset. True. Yeah, if they bracket reset, they're done. <laughs> Hang on, let me um. Eric, there. I don't think you played JP. No, I said, do you think I would Hello? play JP? Can we borrow the Prada? Still... Oh, what's up, Dad? <laughs> we need the Prada. Hi, super. son. Oh, hi, Matchstick. Hi, not relation. I don't care. I, I will just beat lost. you. <laughs> now Yay! I can now come lose in my bracket. I don't know who the no, fuck I'm losing to. Wait, what game? What game, Matchstick? Uh, <laughs> it's here. All right, I'll hop on right now. Thank you for tuning in. Sleep tight. Right, he uh, just said he lost. Matchstick. I don't know what to call you. I don't know what your handle is other than Matchstick. You can go. Uh, you, 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 you can be. You can just say match for short. Match. Thank you for hosting these, even if I didn't enter. No, it's cool, man. I'm happy to do Take it. it.
Take it easy. Are you head out for the night? Oh, he's out of here. Yeah, he's, he's gone. You're gone. You're out of here, Mister. He's out. He's done in rings. He is later done man. in rings profession. If we swear in front of kids, we are Dunyan Rings. We're going to the Denny's parking lot. Everyone's done if they end up being found out at the uh, Denny's parking lot. Oh, man. Like, Flash you even do? You know, the last time I actually like wanted to go to Denny's, it was because they were doing this Lord of the Rings uh, crossover promotion where they had like a like a um, like a Hobbit breakfast plate. And it was just like stupid huge for a really low price. <laughs> second breakfast. Yeah, basically like first and second breakfast all together. Nice. I saw a, a meme on the. Ask them real quick. Hi. You know, bad chick. Hi. No. I'm in the room. Good. Wow. Go away. Oh, at the start of, <laughs> at the start of, uh, an unexpected journey, and he's like, "We're going on an adventure," and then it has the picture of Frodo going, "It's done." And the uh, the caption was, "Me at this, me during kindergarten, and me after <laughs> senior year." I'm going on an adventure. Dude, the only the only LOTR ring or memes I'm familiar with are the ones where it's just <laughs> it was just Bill going after all. Why shouldn't I? Uh, it looks Why like, shouldn't uh, I the... pull the clip on the pen? Good luck, have fun. Yeah, it looks like the fight's about to start. So can we can we watch it? Or are you not? <laughs> no, oh, you're, I stopped you're left. because I changed uh, VCs. Gotcha. Yes, that would be the case. I don't normally do All that. All right. Anyway, <laughs> we are back in it with another set. Prada already starting with the early aggression. Back this with another one of those blockbusters. This matchup beats. actually. Mm -hmm. Uh, if Prada paid any attention during the set with uh, me and Blitz, he's probably going to try and do what I did and just smoke Blitz out when it comes to his defense. Right. Prada sounded really sleepy, so I'm guessing that's not the case. <laughs> nice air to air, though. I don't know, man. I think Prada's just trying to get this done as fast as possible. Base song choice and stage choice by Blitz, by the way. Just want to yep. say that. Did Prada win the other tournament? Uh, no, I think he lost. Or, sorry, they Dang. lost. Unfortunate. Didn't even bracket reset SMH. Oh, oh! Wow. <laughs> I can't believe that hit. I like that freeze frame though. Yeah, that, that was, was a pretty weird. funny freeze frame. <laughs> Might be I the guess the game's card. like. Well, I think it's just more like the game's used to people being on the bottom rung, and mm -hmm. not right there in the middle of the camera. The stage was not balanced for Geo. Dude, no stages were balanced for Geo. Let's be real. I'm not balanced for Geo. <laughs> I'm not Ooh, balanced for you. I don't think anybody. Back dash to get back out of the uh, combo there. That might just kill. It's going to kill. That yeah, that killed. <laughs> and that's going to be game one for Blitz, pulling it back mm -hmm. there from that really early lead that Prada got in the first round. Mm -hmm. That was a perfect that they got. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know how? Uh, just to throw a little shade here. You know how earlier you guys were making jokes about Blitz. Uh, getting the perfect over me and then making fun of me for not getting a perfect back, but then I got yeah. the two perfects towards the end. Yeah. I don't recall Where were the jokes part. then? Where were the jokes <laughs> then? Come on. I can't believe you're listening to our commentary while also deafened. Well, yeah, I saw the, the thing going in the Saki background. Saki Sato, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Same yeah, for, but that's, uh, I feel like that's even more cursed because you have to listen to our commentary 30 seconds behind. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. It's background noise. We do that You're really good like, here. Oh, that's a nice <laughs> burst after you did like a full conversion on. You're like, what burst? Honestly, it's kind of nice listening to it a few seconds later because then I get to focus on what's happening in the moment and not what's being And then being you get excited. to get gassed up. Yeah, basically. And then you get called the heel. <laughs> and I'm just like, dang. Oh, uh, tell Blitz to change stages. Hey, I think Blitz. Prada is. Yeah, I heard yeah. White House still has lag issues. They mm -hmm. still have not patched that. Yeah, by, by the by, if in case anybody's interested, we do have uh, pinned in the online tournament chat the list of known good stages to play online. They did not change stages. Oh. 
I set it to Lars Canyon, and it still did this. Did you hit? Did you hit circle instead of? I might have hit circle. Yeah, just, just. just yeah, just, body. just, yeah. Dude, nice, nice conversions by Prada there. Oh my <laughs> God! Oh, dominating. Oh, super... <laughs> that's gonna kill. All right, Chad. <laughs> that's gonna kill. <laughs> Thank wow, you, Sage. That was it. Yes, Jacko, it was. <laughs> Oh my goodness, close God, slash. I'm getting mixed so hard. Oh my God, look at this mix. <laughs> Guys, I literally can't, I'm, I got hit by that. I can't. Oh, oh I it goes with the wall slump setups. Oh, Blitz with cannot spaghetti all over the floor. <laughs> oh my goodness, Blitz, you gotta stop dropping these, de you, gotta, you gotta get better on the defense. Yeah, dude, yeah, I'll work on it. Just Luckily like for I'll you, in the tutorial, it tells you how to block. Just like, I'll try to actually the GTST starter guide like, block. One day I'll finish the tutorial for this game. <laughs> okay, so, oh right, and then I have to select Geo. Okay. Yes, dude. Half, oh, the, that's half the difficulty of this game is the UI. I swear to God. It, 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 the UI and the uh, network infrastructure. The, the UI is right. out to get people. Like if yeah, if the network doesn't doesn't get you, the UI will. All right, so now we got ourselves a real game An too. Actual game too. Yes. Unless, unless we see White House again. <laughs> Please boot up Could White you House. imagine? Please boot it up just White boots House. up on the White House. <laughs> All righty. Going into game two of the set. I thought it was Tierna Nog. Dude, dude, I can't wait for that stage. And his father, Tierna Rom. Ah. <laughs> anyway, Blitz looking pretty strong here in this opening uh, against Prada. But looking Managing pretty strong. Game run. Managing to take round one here. He looked pretty strong. Mm -hmm. Ass tense here. Oh my well, goodness. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know, you got to cool down after each workout. Right. Oh my goodness. The early game aggression from Blitz is just a really good specialty of his. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's more so he knows that if his weakness is being put on defense, just don't be put on defense and he should be fine. Right. I mean, his his defense is pretty good. One small issue, oh. though. His defense is really good against me. And he, he knows he knows how you, you like to do your offense, though, so it's different. Right. Whereas, like here, when Prada has him blocking minions and he's sandwiching and doing the mix-ups, uh, Blitz has a much harder time. Like, if Blitz can't move, he doesn't feel like he's got a good grasp of what he needs to be doing next. Mm -hmm. However, if he's the first one to act, if he's the first one to attack, then he knows right away, okay, I know what I can do. I know how to keep just pushing and poking and pushing and prodding. And he'll eventually wear you out, you know? Uh, mm -hmm. So it's just a matter of, oh, I don't know what Prod is doing. He's like, gets on the station, gets off the station. He's like, he's not sure if he wants to stick to Jacko or not. and. I mean, they said we they might were see the, on We Jacko. might see the bike and switch. Mm hmm. Unless well, honestly, I feel like in this matchup, I'd probably stick to Jacko just because Blitz went if you win, neutral oh, with her. Oh, yep, Jacko. All right. Sticking it out. Prada did say they were ride or dying on uh, Jacko tonight, so. Mankind knew that they can. Dude, Mankind knew. <laughs> what did they know? Oh, it's even darker, Jacko. She's a, it's grayscale Jacko. Ooh, it's villain Jacko. By the power of villain grayscale. Jacko. I don't think Jacko is physically capable of being a villain. Yeah, but Okaj is. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's good. That's good. My god. That was like the worst thing I've ever heard, and I've still laughed at it. Well, anyway, Prana lost control of the situation, and now. Oh, uh, now oh, Mike, it's. Gets a throw and immediately into the corner. Gets oh, the, the nice. <laughs> Goes for the throw, but Knock manages out. to beat it out. Yeah, the 2D clash there is not going to happen in Geo's That's favor. Not. Never will. Really good match. No matter by how much you pray. Insane Abare. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Round start 5H, the Geo classic. Mm -hmm. Blitz basically crosses himself up. So true. I mean, when you have so many forward advancing normals, it's easy to do that. <laughs> yeah. Yep. 
It's a small Ooh. hit. It's a throw. Bro, wait, hang on. That was a out. throw PRC into another throw. Did he press? Here's the question. He did. Punished. Yeah. Oh my god, that's big damage. The dirt. Yep. Burst out. Doesn't want to lose here. What's this working with nice. one pixel and dream, but unfortunately just gets just J gets out neutral. Yeah, gets a JS and that's it. Proud of putting himself on the board with this one. Will we see the comeback? Who's Blitz gonna pick now? <laughs> this is when Blitz pulls out the secret Kai. Secret Gold Lewis. Pulls out, oh my God, if he pulled <laughs> Gold Lewis out. I would scream. I hear, I hear like fighting with things on a chain, huh? We'll see. We'll see Blitz pull out Gold Lewis's sword before we see Young Fool do it ever again. Probably. And that makes me sad to know. All right, yeah. First event joined us, played Gold Lewis, and then never again. Dude, <laughs> my, dude mop the floor with everybody at the event yep. with Gold Lewis. Because who trains to fight Gold Lewis? Right. I do. Well, Gold Lewis is a pretty strong character, actually. Yeah, I know, but. So you most never people probably them. trying to fight against him now. Yeah. No! What was that? You had him on the ropes! Oh, the mix is in. The mix is in. Doctor's orders. Oof. Oh my goodness. Puts him right through the wall. This could be one this could be one touch. Okay, maybe one more touch. This oh, is, this, this is, is one this touch. Is, this is catch. Yeah, 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 yeah. You were right. <laughs> Whoa! All right, goes straight for the throw. Low profile in that uh, that ball and chain on the way in. Nice. Good yep. cross up with the crack shoot. Goes for the goes for the back dash on the sepulchre there. Goes for the first bait. To... Unfortunately, gets bursted out. Yep. Gets the hit here. Throws him into the corner. Doesn't oh, stop gets the counter throw. special. Whoa, counter throw. Oh shit! Never mind. I was mistaken. All right. Oh. Good blocks He's here. Back in the corner. Oh. Goes to the 5D. Uncharged gets a good hit off that. The answer is more robots. Another throw. We got burst. Just oh mixing goodness. all the options right now. What all a the comeback. Throws are coming out. Mm -hmm. Insane comeback by Prada, actually. Prada is far from finished. It's going to put him into a good situation because he doesn't have burst, but he'll get it back pretty soon. Goes for Blitz going for his what? own what? gold burst. What? Probably to get that like, big geo he's... damage. Did you see how much just a, a blocked 5H did to Prada? Yeah. Right. But ship yeah, damage on uh -oh. Geo with 100 meter is actually huge. Spiral arrow. Doesn't get the wall bounce though. Slowly Ooh, chipping away. That'll punish. Ooh. That'll punish. Elysium drivers out of the, out of the sepulchre. Uh. Mm -hmm. Health is about even. Prada a little lower. Never mind. Taking control of the situation. Gets oh, another low. Reset. Who gets the mix? Slaps. Puts him back in the sandwich. The chase down. And it's a oh, clean jump in. Clean jump in I, by Prada. Getting... I, I really hate to be that guy, but when he did double jump back and Prada jumped after him, if he had just did Tempestata, he would have caught him. <laughs> he just did Tempestata. I'm just saying, I think it would have been the play that time. But no, I fully agree with you. But man, <laughs> Tempestata is bad. It is. Until it's not. Worked. Until it until isn't, it's right? Not, it's until it's it like a dragon install in that regard. It's the worst move in the game until it works. It's just like having Bob Cemetery. It's the worst move in the game until yeah. someone hits with it and King, they pop off. King K rule is F tier until he starts winning brackets. So true. <laughs> we have a friend. We have a friend in our area who plays K rule and is like top three in our scene mm -hmm. with most brackets. And people still don't believe in that character. Oh, I, uh, trust me, I've got a friend who's almost the exact same way. We're well, this close to banning him from our, from our from our friendly like Friday night get togethers. <laughs> oh, uses purple RC to get out of the blue uh, RC situation. Ooh. Ducks the grab and punishes Man. accordingly. Prada, Prada is at a nice point here with his yeah. burst. Yeah, Prada looking very strong after that very near death situation they were in just a moment ago. The situation that would have cost them the set earlier, they got a huge comeback off of, and now they're they're mm -hmm. 
on point to win it, basically. Yep. Mm -hmm. Gets a little jab outs, but doesn't get the throw situation, unfortunately. However, Prada using the forward momentum and negative frames to set up perfect yep. tick throw situations. Let, let them cook, let them cook. <laughs> oh, He's this full, first doesn't go, doesn't get the easy on driver. Yeah. Very unfortunate. Uses the blue RC, gets hit out oh. and a throw. This could be the turnaround. Oh, uh -oh. wait, hang on. At least he's very proud of this. Ooh, good oh, jump out. Oh, Doesn't get the combo. Let's get the, combo. Let's get the hit, but he play. does get his burst. Yep, and here's another hit. Shine taking him to the corner. There's another Elysium driver potentially on deck. Puts him through the wall. There's me to be used. That's a lot of life to Steps lose. Steps back. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Ooh. Gets oh, yeah. but unfortunately, managed to take it with the jump in. Man. Prada with the comeback there. Well, GG's to Prada. I must admit, the connection between the two of us was not the best, but obviously that affects both parties equally. So good stuff. That said, do we want to just start or do we want to run an ad or something? Uh, yeah, let me run a precautionary ad so we don't lose the All right, cool. Supposedly Let's best go precautionary ad. Yeah. In, in that case, I'm going to stand here and I'm going to exercise. Fair enough. All right, flash kick. I gotta know. It, it wouldn't be a flat. Yeah, it wouldn't be a, a tournament with flash kicking unless there were some avatar shenanigans. My, my real mistake was not mashing more. <laughs> my real so mistake true. was losing. <laughs> the the issue was I was trying to react, and y you just can't. Not on six rollback frames. Yeah. So well, no, it is what it is. To be fair, I think this is also a game that encourages you to make decisions at times too. So. Mm -hmm. Well. I, I have been shown to do that, though. Mm -hmm. But sometimes oh, you go into your bracket there. and you get reverse 3 0 twice in a row. It just be like that sometimes. No, don't let it get you down. Does it sound like it's got me down? A little bit. Your voice has got that nasally whiny sound to it, so. <laughs> Damn. God. What is God, that? God, it to mean? It doesn't have to kill him. No. But. It like no, that's, that's, that's there's no, no there's uh, there's no like what is that supposed to mean? There's nothing behind it. I I just said exactly what I thought. <laughs> that's it. That's the tweet. Send tweet. No, Send I tweet. Get it. I Your get voice it. has that nasally a... sound to it. I think I got Send a tweet. nasally voice. I see how it is. Kids, kids, you're all just awful. Andrew's not gonna be ready for when Nick starts talking like Squidward <laughs> after losing a set. <laughs> My ass goes down. I swear I tech bro. <laughs> I feel like Squidward got away with a lot of shit. You just Any, perfectly else? replicate the sound bite. Alright, so are we ready to start then? Got a minute to go. Uh still a minute to go, damn still it. A minute to go. Alright, Flash I gotta know who are you playing in the Street Fighter beta? No, oh, in the beta in particular? Yeah. Well, in the first time I played the beta, I played Jury all the way through, right? Then yeah. the second time, I played everyone. I saw nice. I saw that you made, you made a tweet that was like, I'm going to get to Diamond with every character. And I wanted to, but then I spent the entire weekend being too busy to do that. I agree. I did not uh, play yeah, enough. I hate that too. Elite Smash with all fighters type beat. <laughs> From what I understand, it yeah. didn't seem to really take a long time to rise through the ranks. Yeah. It was, it's a, it was that, definitely a lot it's, easier than... Uh, it's not even that it's super hard to rise in ranks. Like, getting to Master from Diamond is actually probably going to be the most difficult thing. Um, but more than that, uh, we're going to have to, like, pay more attention to things like um, how much time has someone put on a character in their rank versus how much time uh, they've spent playing ranked in general, right? Right. Oh, I like, mean, they, they're with, supposed to track those separately, right? Like the Yeah, the, that's what I'm saying is yeah, that the they, they're tracking the everything ranking. separately. Yeah. And even random select has a ranking. Right. So like, if you want to be good at Street Fighter VI, like if you have a character that's at a, like, a master rank or whatever, that's fine, right? That's, that's Gucci. But if you have random at master, that means you know how to play the game, you know? Andrew, how do you get into the, the Capcom Pro Tour? You have to qualify at one of the four offline events or one of the 18 online events with a, a bunch of special regional events sprinkled in between. You have to suck gotcha. a lot of dick. Or you can go to <laughs> or the Rash Kids Qual... Or, no, shut up. Let me talk. Don't interrupt me. I'll fucking end you. Uh, anyway. Your two minutes is up. Time to fight. All right, cool. Anyway, uh, <laughs> you can go to the Last Chance Qualifier, and if you succeed at the Last Chance Qualifier, you also get into Capcom Cup. Capcom Cup? Interesting. Maybe maybe a matchsticks remark about 
giving head was not far Capcom. from the truth. Alright, let's really do not. this thing. <laughs> yeah, don't don't think about that. Everybody, that was a joke. <laughs> I just want to say that Prada changed colors on Jacko and it literally gave him a power up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it did a little bit. It's literally actually the color karma. I do the same thing with Kai, where I'll be picking my color, and then I'll be like, "All right, I gotta win. Time to pick color ten. Oh my god! You know, a, what, uh... you know what it is? It's the it's like it, it, I'm getting Devimon vibes from uh, from Jacko now. Dude, actually true. I had a uh, I had a thing with um, with Cloud with Devimon in Smash Four, where <laughs> in in winners bracket I would play FF Seven Cloud, and then I would play Advent Children's Cloud, and in, uh, in losers bracket. Uh, I just throw green. I just throw the green variant of everybody I play out there. Yeah, my usual is purple, but unfortunately Kai's purple is like, it's mostly just purple and white. So mm. I'm just like, all right, the red and black color looks way cooler. A pimp named Kai Kaisk. <laughs> Kai Kaisk. <laughs> We're never letting you live uh, that down. Bro, I, it's how I learned it. I, it's harder to unlearn he, these things. Look, man, he got he got a poor upbringing. Yeah. Is, he was I, homeschooled. I was trained wrong as a joke. It's better. It's better than high school. Calling Kai Kitty for the longest time. Kitty. Oof, that one is yes. gross. Ew. Well, never forget Founder Arc. I don't Founder think much Arc. can be worse than that. <laughs> I think. All right. Well, I think you. that's just. I think that's dyslexia kicking in. <laughs> or illiteracy. I'm not sure. Yeah, but you can literally dyslexia hear Kai seems. saying Fudra Arc. Fudra Arc. And based truck. on how much he was fighting you and how much you used that move, there's no way he hadn't heard it dozens of times. So true. I missed the open beta of Strive when that move was actually an overhead and really good. To be fair, that, that move sounds more like food truck than anything. Food truck arc. Dude, I mean, he is French. Maybe he's got like some croissants on there. Well, I guess in Japanese croissant. it probably sounds more like, it sounds like food truck. <laughs> so, so yeah, I guess it kind of does sound like food truck. In English, he like definitely says food truck. <laughs> oh my goodness, Prada with the early game damage, but uh, it's Jacko, so. Yep. Yep. Th yep. And there it is. There's. There's. Yeah. There it is. There's Flash Kick doing Absolutely things. Absolutely getting exploded. I think. I think Jacko's dead. Oh yeah. no! No! Oh! Very close. It's just a tiny if, sliver if of your wrong. If Flash Kick is smart, <laughs> he will. Uh, he will play it. Wow. That was. That Flash was with brave. A power throw there. That was brave. Really good play by Flash Kick there. Wait, was that a taunt? I don't think so. No, I think that was just Geo's win animation. No, Jacko's. Oh, Jacko? At the start of the round. I saw the ball oh, and chain do like a weird thing. Anyway. Might just be your idle animation. Could be. She did a weird thing. Did you say idle showdown? <laughs> Dude, idle showdown. What are we running back for that? As soon as, oh, there's this is a, as soon as there's an observation mode. True. Oh, Blue Roman. Oh, oh that, and that extra two damage. I think, I think with the Ventania, he could have gotten a kill there. But being Ooh. able to input that in between the hits of uh, of Far Slash would be very difficult. So I don't blame him for not trying. Yep. Countering Ooh. Blue Roman with Blue Roman is so funny to me. Sliding in low, finishing at mid. I My favorite thing is someone jumps, does an aerial. Someone else is on the ground. They The, the person on the ground whiffs their move does a PRC and does a 6P. The person in the air does a PRC and uh, and then tries to basically mix the guy on the ground and the guy on the ground then PRCs his 6P. And then basically everyone has wasted all of their meter and nothing is... <laughs> there, there was oh, nothing yeah. gained from the interaction, but nothing lost except for 100 meter. It, it happens like once every two sets on the uh, high level gameplay channel i swear is really common it's better to lose your meter than your health at this point you guys yeah. bring some of those and folks over here shake up the meta a bit and get the high level gameplay <laughs> Do we get we gotta get hotashi on this yeah yeah i gotta i gotta go and find uh Man, gotta find kohide gotta find almaza dude if we got almaza oh, on this bracket almaza. i'll be hype uh, almaza would clean up almaza is my favorite to win always I would never root for anyone else if Almaza was in this bracket. Dude, imagine if we got uh if we got the man, the myth, the legend, Snake Eyes. So dude, oh my god. When Snake Eyes won uh Texas Showdown, I was like, man, nobody could ever talk bad about Potemkin anymore. 
to get oh my in goodness here. look at the damage that's pretty crazy but catching up prada's gonna make it back up here it looks like another knockout just a little bit greedy didn't quite get flash back uh, in the corner oh, nothing weird. that's dead i think that's the round i think i don't think so wait I'm for wrong. wall break yeah <laughs> I, I always Kellen, get confused when that super's going to wall break. I'm revoking your commentary card <laughs> and giving you the fraud card the because fraud you were wrong this one time. Dang, how will I ever financially recover from this? Do you remember when... Your round five of Geo dive kicks so H hard right now. ...did not send down? That was a terrible time in our lives. Okay, that well, Flash Kick doesn't give two shits about that last round, apparently. He really doesn't. Oh, that Flash Kick never gives two shits about the last round. A very rare usage of uh, the 6 H Rekka. Pretty we are much any time you see, see that, uh, you can 6 H or 6 P out. And I don't think there's anything Geo can do to stop it. Mark my words, we will not see game 540. Flashig wants to just take it all here. Oh, oh no burst, punish but on the gold. It's burst. blocked. Really good block by Prada there. Oh, oh that, but the footsies with the foot so good. You don't succeed. Try again. JH. If it, and JH you don't again. succeed. Try another time oh, and then it'll Oh no! Oh, that, that might be. Dead, I think. Close yeah. K. Oh my yeah. Wow. GG's. GG. We are not going to see intentional game 540. GG and that's that. What? Absolutely blown yeah. up. So right. I didn't. Uh, I didn't mute death that time. So. So relatively speaking, this was a this was a pretty short uh, short bracket. So Very I have short a suggestion. Grand finals. How about we get the two people in here going to combo to do an exhibition for us? You know what? Why not? Internet currently appears to be stable. I'm putting I'm putting Kelland on the spot. Putting me on blast. I'm not putting you on blast. That's cat. I, I never I never said you were bad. I just said you mashed Fudra Arc. I do you do that. Oh, Prada's that is going the thing to, I do. Prada's going to CB as well. That's right. Yo, let's ah. go, Prada. Well. So you'll be uh, you'll be able that, to berate them in person. True though that may be, uh, it is not. Oh, a channel point bets? Hell yes. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Uh, but true though that may be, the uh, the two people here in the uh, the voice chat commentator booth, who are going to combo breaker, could square off here. Yeah, that's what my hand keeps I'll trying to give me negative game. points, Woody. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Bro actually is losing points every time, every <laughs> ten minutes he watches. It's it's just like how uh, Matchstick almost put in Flash Kick's win is a minus three. <laughs> yeah. Every, every time you win, a time. piece of your soul gets traded. Blitz, do you remember when I do you remember when I four owed somebody at Frosty? Yes, I do remember that. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't like a small I didn't even girl, have to play it? the fourth game. The our, guy our the team. run was identical, except you four-owed someone somehow. <laughs> and that didn't even change my placing. It's just really funny that it happened. All right, so Blitz and Lord Advent. Uh, Advent, the code's up in the pin messages. Yeah, gotcha. it's actually Flash Kick in Lord Advent. Wait, I thought it was the commentators. I'm not going to Combo Breaker. Oh. Well, wait, didn't... Oh, that's right. Blitz never got. Yeah, me and Flash here are going to combo breaker. Wait, so this you? is it's not it's an exhibition, more of a run back. It's the carpool clash. Carpool clash. TLDR, he'll give me shit if he wins. Uh, no, I won't. The sixty-five yeah, will. dollar yeah, challenge. TLDR, on he's going to give you shit anyways. I mean, personally, you will you will never not be at least a little scarred in my mind for stealing my Cheez-Its. There is little more important in my life than my Cheez-Its. Right, if you take me. Nick's Cheez-Its, you're gone. <laughs> Dude, I'll just buy you some more Cheez-Its. <laughs> <laughs> Tell that to Nick, who won't be going to Combo Break. Are you just going to, like, hand me some Cheez-Its and be like, give this back? These are for Nick. Get, I'll, I'll to get be you absolutely listen, clear, hang on, listen. At Walmart and Schomburg specifically, they have like shit I've never seen and ultra sizes of shit that we have here. So I'm gonna get you an ultra size of Cheez Its <laughs> for <laughs> Lord Advent to bring back to you, and then I that... never want to hear about this ever again. <laughs> you know what? I'm down. I'm down for this bit. You know what? We gotta I will, squash the beef. I will shake hands with you through the microphone on that. All right, cool. You know what? I'll use my powers as a public notary to, to say that this happened. 
Are you really a notary? No, but apparently it only costs $20 uh, to do, so how important could it really be? Listen, I'm <laughs> an ordained really minister, actually. so... <laughs> Come on, anyway, Kel, let's fight. Prediction! Right, let's go. Who wins? 40% or or Team Blitz over here. Team Blitz? Team are, Blitz. Are you, yep. are you trying to say... You're the entirety of it, Are you it, trying yes. to say that... Uh, well, there are two Team Blitzes here. It's very confusing. Yeah, I know. People I like, or it's people that are on uh, Flash Kick's team. <laughs> Team Blitz versus Team Blitz. It's a yeah. It's the battle of the. I'm not even gonna try the to battle of go the Blitz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the, Blitz, it's the Blitzkrieg. It's Blitzkrieg. My yeah, let's go. My it's a Kowski Blitz comp. Too cooked to be able to figure this out. Let's have a fine duel. Let's have a fine duel. Let us fight like gentlemen. Hi. So, uh, we got to see. Advent here. Oh right. Repping the uh, repping the Chevy dealership Kai fit. My favorite Kai skin aside from black and red. Look, you can't go oh wrong with a Canadian tuxedo. Getting uh, the pressure laid on here. Although this is Robert knock uh, counter hits back and forth. Really, uh, kind of what you come to expect watching uh, Strive. That was a great pickup. By the way, did the we call Mazda this first to five? Or... <laughs> Except it, it yeah, we're, yeah, it's best to five. Okay. Wait, best of that five? Best of five, yes. Oh, best of five. Okay. So just like the, the tournament Got sets. it. Okay. First oh, my of, God. First of three. Oh, what a good throw. Catching that <laughs> DP. Yes, yes. Quite jolly good throw. Yes, yeah, jolly good it's throw. Jolly throw. Yeah. Much better than the others. Yes, indubitably. Like the British man. <laughs> You pressed 6D on my 623HS. Oh, I'm dead. And that's as close as I come to saying I love you. <laughs> yes. As a matter of fact, British people burst into flame if they make such a proclamation of love. It is a well-known fact. My darling, I fancy you quite quite often, yes. Uh, see, I exploded a little there. My left arm. I can't believe that didn't hit. <laughs> yes, I... Uh, I can't believe... That's actually where the phrase "old fame" comes from. I'm gonna stun Dipper. He knew. He he was in there. All right, this is this is Kellen's big chance. Oh, where's my input? He's oh. dead. Where's my stun Dipper? <laughs> stun Dipper. Stun Dipper. So I do say it appears the first game has gone to forty percent. Pick. Yes, this has concluded as we predicted. <laughs> It is concluded as we, as ordained. As it was proclaimed in the Holy Scrolls, 40% Flash Kick has won again. Hurrah. Of course. This fits with the lessons we learned from the Royal Academy Indeed. on chances with uh, tournament winners winning their exhibition matches. If you read right here, subsection Man, three, article two, paragraph four, line 12, 40% flash kick, cannot lose. <laughs> As notated oh. in citation number 28. At least in scrub brackets like this one. <laughs> Who are you calling a scrub, Master? My, myself, dear sir. <laughs> Do not insult the audience. Do you, do you see any tuppence in the in the reward pool? I don't. Now, now it's there. <laughs> <laughs> you you do not expect the the best players to play only for the shillings in the pockets of hot. Oh my but, goodness, the rollback friends are jumping. Sir, but they do. <laughs> the net code is the net code is popping right now. British net code. They might expect the shillings, <laughs> but if that's the case, British then they net are code guys, they're shilling. making the net code British. They're thinking of it. They're thinking I'm in Europe. Well, we say, say we say it's British netcode, but actually we brought it over from India in the, in the early 1700s, and we're just not giving it back. <laughs> we're just I not giving it back. I do say it appears that Giovanna is just as fond of chips as the British are, so in that way she can be an honorary British person uh, as long as we get her. I see, because fish. her playstyle is quite fishy. I feel like Gio would hate to be a British, an honorary British person. She fishes for the chip damage. Fishing for the chip it damage. It truly is a match made of heaven. What is happening? 
British what is happening, can't use the Mr. EU Shields, code. is the best bit British I've conceived. <laughs> All right. Of course, Matchstick and I are the foremost pundits on this subject. Uh, He's not yes. going to expect this. A few jokels with the yokels, one might say. <laughs> the common man loves a play on words. Hmm. Oh, Kellant has busted out the offspring of Kai. Ah, what a way to fight scripture with sin. Man. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hey, that was pretty fall. good. That was pretty good. I, that, was, that was a great I, one, actually. I tip my cap to OMG, this OMG, I can't tweet. <laughs> Oh my god, Sin looks like fucking Tombstone from Spider-Man. I do say, that <laughs> was not very esports of you there, Matchstick. Mm. Fear not, the follies of all of us do lay. I, I have shamed both my houses. You have, sh oh god. You, have oh. <laughs> you have brought shame to the great nation of Great Britain. Of Great Britain. Although these days it's more like so so Britain, but. <laughs> it's alright, Britain. <laughs> fair. Am I going through the, the, the wall with this one? Different version of fair Britain. You think you're gonna get shanked? Go in this alley. It's over for you. <laughs> you got a license for getting stabbed there? Oi, sir. Seems you've gone unstabbed today. You mind taking a step in this alley? <laughs> I fully expected the Ventania. Oh, you've got a wallet? Rotio, right, then oh, I'll be having that. Yeah, I have a bit of that. <laughs> Rotio. Right, what was this? Loose cash? It's COVID oh. times, Governor. Put that shit away. It's a certified sin dive kick moment. <laughs> it's a certified, this is the best normal in the game moment. It's a certified, that was the best commentary ever played in front of any set ever. Yep. And it looks this like 40% Trump... flash kick will be taking the set versus Lord Advent. Of course, those are metric units, so we have to convert to standard. I believe he's only 26.5% flash kick over on your side of the pond. <laughs> right, right here. And um, Upstart it, is, colonies. it is well established that the ritual of the exhibition match means that Mr. Shields has voided all of his sh talking rights <laughs> until such a time as he can triumph. Uh, it's certified objectively better than Kellen for over a year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, well, that was this fun. has been a wonderful time. <laughs> yeah, this turned out okay. <laughs> It's been a pretty, you, pretty amazing experience. <laughs> the way you people talk in your British accents really makes me want to go out, find the nearest Piccadilly, and rub his brains all over the goddamn sidewalk. You disgust me. <laughs> <laughs> oi, oi, oi. Oh. But what would you say to a cup of tea and some fish and chips? I'd say, hello, cup of tea. Yeah. I love a cup of tea. I'll have that. Hey. Yeah. Guys, I'm I'm gonna go. Have a good night. Oh. You have a good night, Flash wait, wait, Kick. Wait, wait, I have a, I have a, I have a, I have a joke. Okay, one more important, time. Important inquiry or a joke. Kick what some do you ass call a woman with one leg? Breaker, Mr. Fine. Wait, hang on. Let him tell his joke. I didn't hear it. What, what do you call a woman with one leg? I don't know. What do you call a woman with just one leg? Eileen. <laughs> You're all right, mate. <laughs> you know what else works? Peg. <laughs> oh, I'll kill you last. <laughs> That's what I've deserved. All right, take care, you chap. <laughs> I'll, I'll, see you, I'll see you on the morrow. On the morrow? <laughs> I'll see him, t yeah, because he's riding with me tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was, uh, I'm going to be right. here. I don't, <laughs> you're passing through. Be well, gentlemen. Yep. Have a great night, guys. Bye. Catch you later. Oh, I Catch guess, you well, later. I mean, before all that, I just want to say thank you to the to the commentary squad this evening. It's such big help, quite honestly. Um, Always a pleasure. Came in stages and and yeah, just it was. It we was created great. for the we we allowed for the greatest commentary experience. Bro, we where we add one commentator every second. We made content tonight. <laughs> Actual content. Actual we may content. have gotten lemons in terms of bracket length. But darn it, we made lemonade. lemonade. With the commentary, Absolutely. yes indeed. 
But uh, that is going to be it for MSM on uh, and GGST tonight. Uh, please join us tomorrow evening here on Twitch for some Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, uh, which I believe will have Cryptic Hints back as our primary co-commentator. He's a cool guy, if you don't know. Uh, outside of that, feel free to catch the VOD over on the YouTube channel in the next couple days. Um, subscribe there for free and enjoy all of the very, very high quality VODs that are uh, separately recorded from this VOD so you don't get horrible things like the stream going down or, you know, buffering and, and all that other great, all that other fantastic stuff that we all, you know, get to suffer through in our wonderful technology age. But Thank anywho. Thank you very much for all of your support. Yes. Thanks for coming uh, out. And if you are going to Combo Breaker this weekend, best of luck to you. I hope you succeed in all of your bracket dealings, so long as they don't uh, involve making somebody else I know do horribly. <laughs> Thank you very much. I will be entering <laughs> Grand Blue for the first time in a year since Woo! last Frosty. So that's going to be fun. Yeah. And then um, also join us on the 3rd of June for a local tournament here. Um, and then July 15th, we will be back for a two-day uh, stream called Cap City Chaos. Ooh. So uh, keep your ears out for information regarding both of those. Ooh, so that, that's ooh. all I got. Everybody have a good night. Peace Bye -bye. out, chat. Peace.